Hey everybody, welcome to Kansas City's Max Out. <laughs> Every time. September 2015 edition. There, it was Here tough. as always is Vegas. I'm Vegas, <laughs> aka Brad Wyman, for those of you who know me in, in real life. And this is... Fire Team, aka Chris Becko, and uh, the longest, the longest. KC Regional Tournament Series, of course, is Max Out here at the Admiral Draft House. Very excited to get things underway. We're just about to get started with some Ultra Street Fighter 4, so sit tight, everybody. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Absolutely, and of course, uh, we have some pretty big name players out here tonight. Got players like Wraith, Robbie V. Yeah, hey. Robbie V ra making a rare appearance. Absolutely rare appearance for him. You got Pickle Chicken. You got, I mean, you have Geef Kid. You have Mike Webb. You have some pretty big players here tonight, and uh, Axiom as well. Uh, Charlie, Dr. Richard Steele. You should definitely watch out for these players. You'll definitely see them get towards the uh, later end of the bracket and um, definitely show how powerful they are. Yep. And I do see some new players here as well. And I know that uh, we have several towns represented. Wichita, um, Iowa. Rip. Some new players that I've never seen before. Truman here is here, so that's Kirksville. Yeah, I got the Kirksville boys. We have, uh, I think, Mad Dogs here, I'm pretty sure. What's up to Axiom? I see Pete here. Yep. There's also Smash. Right? Yeah, Jay so, Slow's running Smash. Yeah, there's not going to be any Smash on stream due to you know hardware and everything. But if you're a Smash guy, then come on up and you can definitely get some games in. Oh. I was wondering what the webcam focuses on. Is yeah, I always thought it was the sun that messed it up, but I don't know. Maybe it's when there's too much movement, so maybe I should sit very still. <laughs> this bit extremely still. I like how red we look on webcam. I even I look way redder than you, but red like like, like actually rosy? like like I'm actually really rosy right now. Looks like I'm like really rosy. Looks like I'm like just a big giant apple. tomato, apple, tomato. Apple. That's fair. It's probably a little bit more fitting. Looks like you have George up here on stream, and there are some old man games going on. I Absolutely. believe, uh, I know Third Strike has a tournament, and I'm sure there are other old, old school games that you can actually get in on. Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, ST and stuff like that. So if those are games that you're interested in, then you guys should definitely come on up. There are plenty of reasons to be here. Of course, the tournaments, the casuals, the food, the movies. Uh, if you show up and get a max out ticket, you're actually going to get $2 off your first alcoholic drink at the bar. So if you want to come up and get a, a drink, and hang out for a while, then if you're in the area, it's absolutely worth the trip. Absolutely. Yep, there's the bracket link again there in the chat. Uh, of course, very strong players. As I said earlier, uh, actually quite a few buys. It's kind of interesting uh, tournament format we have uh, this week. Yeah, it looks like we had kind of an odd uh, number. Yeah, we have a pretty awkward number of people. Aliens. How many people do we have? 23. 23 is our total. And as soon as I, yeah, you're right though, because as soon as I moved, it, looks, it just completely. Yeah, I think unfocused. it's movement. But so I just stand completely. I just sit completely still. Yeah. And that's George behind us. I, I don't know who our uh, first match is going to be. Looks like we're still waiting on that announcement. Here you see Gray Bush and Charlie warming up over there. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I didn't see Gray Bush until just now. but uh, Yeah, I walked in is. right behind his vape cloud. All Rip. right, so Luxon just announced in his best big boy deep voice that we are officially about to start, which we've already said like nine yeah. times that we're officially about to start. Yeah, Maybe it's for real this time, guys. Yeah, we didn't have any. Uh, usually we have some kind of event. Uh, of course, we had the Wraith vs. Geef Kid first yeah. 10. Had all uh, money matches of it, any sort. Mm -hmm. And so usually we have those, but this month we I are... I remember the first max out I ever went to, there was a Tekken Tag Tournament 2 money match between Vic and Malcolm. Yeah. When Malcolm was still into that oh, game. Oh, yeah. And uh, Vic lost, and he popped off, and he was like... He, you know, he, he, say, he says the things you say when you're salty. I didn't lose to you, I lost to myself, and stuff like that. And uh, Axiom just thought it was the funniest thing. Yep. And then he had to wear a trash bag because it was a trash bag match. Yep. And I don't know what the money amount was. It may have just been a trash bag match, but it was pretty funny. So uh, he left the venue and then he came back and they were like, don't think we forgot. Put this trash bag on. <laughs> so uh, shout outs to Vic. This is actually his last max out before I believe he's deployed or something like that. Yeah. I, I just know that it, this is his quote-unquote farewell max out, which I'm sure he'll be 
uh, an attendance of more max outs in the future, but Absolutely. this is going to be his last one for Or a while. if he goes somewhere, he might be like Samson. Oh, yeah. Which is, again, competing this morning there in the uh, Korea Weekly, or Korea Monthly, excuse me. And it's this morning for us. So is that Friday, was that Friday night for them? I wouldn't know. I didn't get to watch it. Well, let's see. Europe is seven hours ahead of us, so I would assume Asia is like seven hours behind us. So it'd be so last night? If it was, yeah. So yeah, Friday night Absolutely. tournaments. Do, do, uh, does Korea adhere to the schedule of like weekends? I don't know. Do they even use a seven like day calendar? Oh, why were they? I don't know. Dude, I don't know what stuff what, to think about. I don't know what is caused by being American. I don't know what's caused by <laughs> being an Anglo-Saxon country, and yeah. I don't know what's caused by being in the West. I don't know what uh, those factors actually mean. I mean, Man. they might be like, yeah, today's my weekend. It's Wednesday. These are the two you know? worst camera, camera angles we could have gotten. Yep. It looks like it's so empty in here, but I can literally see 50 people in front of me. Yeah. They're just... Uh, the reason you're seeing these camera angles is we're actually using a head-to-head -head setup this yeah. month for the first time, I think, ever. Ever, ever. At, yep. uh, Max out. But I haven't been to every Max out of all time, so that's just my guess. But, uh, yeah, so we're using the head-to-head. -head. One of them is pointed off the edge of the mezzanine out the window, and then one of them is pointed to one of the TO stations yeah, and then the vacant backpack area, yep. which is supposed to be over there. It looks like people still have their backpacks back here, but... Anyway, so that's it's not empty. So if you're thinking that you're, uh, if you if you're thinking you're gonna tune in to eight different people being here, no, there's a there's 23 man bracket and plenty of other people for other games. And there's a I think a 24 man smash or 32 man smash bracket, something like that. So I mean, you Is that right? Man, they it. always come out of numbers. Shout yeah. out, shout out to smash, to smash. And again, if you ever get to know us, Sma oh, I think we just lost projector. Right row. Oh yeah, I got really. Oh, it looks like a bulb. What? I don't know. It looks like the bulb went out because you can still faintly see. Oh, oh, we're back. We're back in there, dude. That's weird. AJ fixes everything with a smile on his face. Yeah. You can see him over there. Well, he works in IT. The, I think the top left, I th or software engineering of some kind. Yeah, he can't come. He's, he's got work. You're not supposed to talk to the commentators. Yeah. He can hold that. Oh, well. Lux into TO, so I answered his question. All right, so we're fixing this projector right now. There we go. Beautiful. The bulb didn't go out. That's a good thing. Yeah, because those bulbs are like as expensive as a projector it's to self. replace. Yeah, absolutely. We had projector issues at uh, next door all the time too. Yeah, actually, we had a lot more. We actually got a new projector since then. Man, but shout out to Next Door Pizza though. That place was great. Yeah, Dan Maldonado being our uh, li liaison. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got the hookups, man. He was in the uh, restaurant industry for a long time. I yeah. think he might still be. I don't really know what he does now. Yeah. But. Yeah, that was a great place. We just outgrew it, as you guys would be able to see. If we had the correct... If uh, we had the normal cameras. Yep. But yeah, there are uh, quite a few people here. Yep, so we did say pizza. <laughs> you could do... Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I got a pizza earlier. I should have showed it off on camera. There you go. There's the uh, tournaments again coming up later today. Yeah, we're running a little bit late here on an Ultra Street Fighter 4 tournament, trying to get this projector working. Yeah, it uh, was already a late scheduled start. Rather than one o'clock, we're starting at two. Yeah, but it looks like it's already two eighteen. The Alamo is in Kansas City at twelfth and Main. Twelfth and Main. Twelfth and Main, down here next to Power and Light. Of course, uh, we're going to go through our sponsors real quick. Got Eli's Beat Sprites. Been selling Beat Sprites here at the Max Out for quite a few months now. As long as I can remember. Yeah. It's been at least a year. He's yep. only missed one. Yeah. Uh, he missed the last Max Out because he was working on some project of his. Yeah. And also you have, uh, also you have Media Mics. Media Mics is... Uh, 
a provider for some of AJ's tech gear. For those of you who don't know who AJ is, AJ is our stream lord and savior. Oh yes, absolutely. He, this entire ev thing. Almost everything you see was done by AJ. Purchased by AJ from community yeah. funds or purchased by AJ with his own money. The, the PC we're using right now to stream this yeah, is his home, this regular old desktop that he uses for right. gaming. So, so and then we also, appreciate everything AJ does. And of course you have a couple, and also again our venue, Alamo Draft House, here's a couple things they have going on uh, in the next couple weeks. Uh, again, some very interesting stuff. Has the actually red versus blue, the Halo Machinima series. I didn't know they actually ran. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, they run some really indie stuff, some really off the beaten path type yeah, films. Yeah, absolutely. And now we're announcing, we're officially announcing matches here for Ultra Street Fighter 4. We're going to be getting... What is all... All three cameras. That's uh, both cams and us. Oh. Nice. Nice. Yep. Okay, I can switch to this one. There we go. There we go. But yeah, we have Mason God and somebody else. I don't know who's... Is it John getting on there? Is it really... Are you playing on stream? What? See... So Mason's up on stream. Versus... I don't know who... Who? Happy Doc? <laughs> so I, I didn't hear like the second name. Yeah, AJ does I rule. I think this is the jury player that was playing casuals when I got here. Wait, also, Mike Webb is here? Didn't he move to, to South, South Dakota? Dakota? Yeah. Man, and he came all the way down to Max Out. That's like a 10 hour drive, isn't it? Yeah. Shout out. It's actually crazy. Much respect. To Mr. Webb. Yeah. All the way from there, you see Mason got there on the left, repping that maybe Ryu, maybe Ken. I don't know. I hope I see Ryu, to be totally honest. I think it's Ryu and... Uh, oh, you mean his... Oh, yeah, okay. he put Ken all on top in the shop. Ah, yes. All I didn't top. know that. That's yep. weird. He put Ken. Yeah, yeah actually I, pretty successful, too. I've been seeing him play uh, Ryu for the most part lately. So, I would imagine he's going to use the Ryu. The player across from him, I will not know until I see their name. Yep. Oh. Uh, Cactus how, guy. How they are called. Cactus guy. Cactus guy. Cactus okay. guy. All right. So, Robbie, senpai of uh, formerly Pew Pew Carding Game, came up to say a couple things to Mason. Yeah. Robbie senpai. I can attest. Mason... <laughs> we uh, we just roll uh, the usually the uh, the cities you see up there is actually not where they're from but where we you just might as well put them from. Mason's yeah. actually from I think Excelsior, Excelsior Spring, Springs. Springs yeah. oh, he is north of the river. Yeah. But uh, Oak Grove is where Pew Pew Karting Game was located uh, before it went out of business. So yeah, Cactus Guy was the jury player we saw earlier. Yep. Mason should have some exposure to this matchup. Absolutely. Due to Swim Dude. There, yeah, they're all familiar. Ante or Low Strong. As oh. much as I don't like jury, this is the uh, the correct color scheme. Yeah, it's actually really sweet. All right, kind of an ill-fated sweep there. Mason looks like he's just kind of testing the waters here. Cactus Guy putting on plenty of pressure in the corner. Okay. Now, Mason hit with the sweep there, right? He could have gotten a safe jump set up. Yep. Of course, after after sweep, you can just simply hold up forward and it gives you a four-frame safe jump. That's the way you don't delay wake up. Of course. Yeah, four-frame. You of just course. hold up. Hold up. Of course. Well, it means a one-frame length to get into sweep, it's though. It's a four-frame safe jump, though? Yeah. Okay. But you have to do one-frame length to get to sweep, so that's kind of hard. And it's negative 14 if, you blo if they block it. So. I mean, yeah. It's definitely an expert move. And Cactus Guy is putting in the work here. Yeah. I want to know what the close uh, stand strong was supposed to be. Wake yeah, up, yeah. EX, and push a. Yep. And Cactus Guy is back in control. Nice whiff punish there. Yeah. I want to see some more movement here from Mason God. Yeah, Mason looks like he's just kind of a stick in the mud here. Good throw. Let's see the mix Get up. out of the corner. Okay. Nope. Yeah, they definitely should have jumped out of the corner, as you said. Taking a lot of damage here. Oh, Ultra 1. This Another is the most, feng shui engine. most underrated Ultra in the game. And he's dead. That thing is amazing. I think uh, when you see the Feng Shui engine activation, stand up. Or uh, 
crouch because the the low sh the low short is going to be what opens you up. Mm -hmm. The overhead you can still block. I mean, you can you can physically react to overhead. You cannot physically react to, to low short. <laughs> low short's so I, like four frames. Yeah, over. so I think you gotta sit down until uh, until he threatens you with that overhead. Yep. Nice focus. And okay. also the overhead link into anything else is, the, is it, unlike from low short. Low short's a cancel into anything else, and then the overhead you have to link afterward. So oh, it's a lot harder to uh, as a jury player to link after overhead, of course, and canceling. So, okay. you know, if you if you think the jury player is not as skilled as you know, maybe you know, just have all their execution up to up to snuff, then you can actually challenge them by just not blocking high. Uh, Show one for EX Fireball there. What a combo and would have gotten to Ultra One. There you go. That's nice. Ultra One. That's a little late though. Yep, oh. missed. Could have been sweep instead. Yep. Of course, counter hit EX Fireball with Ryu is uh, has full juggle potential. Nice combo yep. there. Does I it. really don't feel like Mason earned that round as much as he could have. Um, Cactus guy just made a couple of mistakes, and Mason closed it out with some big combos. Yep. So let's see. See, that should be DP for yep. Mason. Absolutely. The lack of anti-airs is going to be a big issue here from Mason God. Okay. First cross-up he's gone for, and it works. Mm -hmm. So maybe he'll remember that, and you'll see that later in the set. Nice mix-up there from Cactus Guy. Definitely something uh, you don't see as much from jury players. Should have activated a little bit earlier, but it's going to work out for him anyway. There's the overhead. Nice. Block on the overhead. I like him using these bigger buttons. Usually jury players use his light buttons, then yeah. then just do overhead, so it's like really obvious. But this guy's using a lot of medium normals into yeah. overhead, so it's really hard to tell. Nice pressure there from Mason. Jumping straight in once he saw the fireball charge. That should be DP. She should be dead on chip here. Mason wow. a little shy with it. Yeah. Luckily the uh, the low fireball from Jury acts correctly as a low fireball and won't trade with a, a regular fireball. There with uh, Mason got though, he should have done EXDP on his wake on Cactus Guy's wake up. The only thing that, uh, Cactus Guy could have done is simply do uh, EX spin wheel, yeah. which he would have wasted a bar and only got about 25 to 30 damage out of it. So, I mean, it wouldn't matter too much. Yeah. Because, of course, one Drake of the reversals where you can get a particle damage rather than just hitting the whole thing or nothing. Yep. Nice EX. Pinwheel to blow up the throw tech there. And you've seen nice Mason. sweep. Yeah. No Very setup, just a throw. And you see Mason got in the corner almost this entire set. Yeah. There you go. Good. He's I got himself in the corner though. I don't understand combo. that. Oh my god, that could have been big damage. That was counter hit. I, I don't understand the use of the light Tatsu when you're playing against Jury. <laughs> he used the light Tatsu, which normally you'd use against like a grappler maybe to push them further away. Yep. I right, go for the cross up again. No. Double EX Fireball. Pouring on the pressure. EX and Push is going to close that round out. And now, set point for Cactus. Of course, uh, Solar Plex is being zero on, on block. Uh, Cactus Guy knew that if Mason needed a challenge, he needed to go through that zero on block move. Nice wow, there. the one frame yeah, link. The one frame link. And then goes into the light Tatsu again. No. That was a negative edge medium kick Tatsu. He tried to do the medium kick to punish the uh, you know the roll on the ground, but instead he got the Tatsu. Ah, I see. Nice. Wow. He needs to control this range if he wants to keep Jury in the corner. Yeah. Oh! Fuck a frame trap, EX Tatsu. <laughs> that was dirty. Axiom. Sounds like Mason has a couple fans here. Wraith sitting next to him now. Yep. So uh, Cactus Guy's kind of getting teamed up on here. That's the second person who's specifically come by to give Mason some advice. There's that yeah, Ma Mason just looking to put Cactus Guy in the corner. That doesn't juggle. You need to use the medium this one. This isn't super, bud. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, wow. That's nice. going to cost him a lot, Walk too. Walk up low. Okay. Cactus hmm. Guy now back in the corner. Has to be weary of low forward because Mason had been going for the EX fireballs. Oh, nice combo. Yeah, going for the EX fireballs again to try to convert into that ultra. Kind of a risky sweep there. It worked yeah. out though. The that uh, cactus guy moved. I like this, this negative 14 sweep right in his face, but it works out. So okay, Mason looking like he's trying to hold his ground here. Oh. Nice, yeah. That cactus guy dashed up, and I don't know what he was going for. It looked like maybe just a throw. But what I didn't understand there, well, he did solar plexus and the crouching strong right afterward. And the thing about that, we saw cactus guy challenge that exact move in that exact situation 
this a couple rounds before, and Mason, instead of cowering due to the Ix and Pusha, he just went, yeah. he just kept going in. Sometimes that's what you have to do. One plus one equals three. That's Alternatively, do. though, sometimes they will do it every single time. You have to kind of recognize the skill level of the player you're playing against. Like, maybe if you're playing against a newer player, they don't know how to switch that up as much. So Absolutely. they may just do the, the Shampusha every single time because they know if this hits them, it will get them off of me, and this is my best chance to be on offense again. So, uh, yeah, smart reads there by Mason. Looks like he's having a couple words with uh, Cactus Guy there. He's yep. also about twice as tall as Cactus, <laughs> Cactus Guy. Cactus Guy. Mason is a giant he human. Dude. He is a dude. He is a big dude. He is six foot six or five, I'd say. Is that right? Hey, dude, it's it's like, how tall is Mason? He's pretty tall. How tall is Mason? How tall is Mason? 6'3"? Six, 6'3"? Three? Six, three. Oh, I don't, I don't believe that That's for a second. pretty tall, though. I don't believe that for a second. Most people are like 5'10", right? I'm 5'9", five foot, I'm five foot nine and he just like, I, I look at his 6'4". Six, 6'4"? Four. Six, yeah, four? yeah six, Mason's a huge dude. He looks dude. at me like I am. <laughs> Okay. Dude, and I look at his chest too when I when I'm you know when I'm standing shoulder to shoulder I just look at his chest like that's how sh oh, much I shorter than I look am. At him. Yeah, I just nope. I just I just pwn him in Street Fighter instead. All right, so it looks like next up we're gonna have Geef Kid representing Kirksville and the Truman Gaming League versus John. What does John sign up? How does he sign up? I don't know. <laughs> his gamer tag on Thursday was Where is Mason? Because awesome. <laughs> Mason showed up pretty late. Because of course he lives in Excelsior Springs. Yeah, so it's like four million hours away. Yeah. But. Okay. Yeah, so he lives like an hour and a half away. Or honestly, he lives like a solid hour, ten minutes away. And so, you know, of course he has to show up late just because I mean he has a job and big boy, big boy right. responsibilities. But John signed, signed up as. I I've never heard John have an actual gamer tag, so I am really interested to see what he's actually called. He, he may just be called John Son. Yeah, that's like his alias. Yeah, it's his name. <laughs> well, but it's not his name. Is it? No. His. I think his first name is Johnson. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah, that's what I've heard. But I don't know. But I don't. I mean, if he wants to stay a secret, I'll keep it a secret. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. So this is John on the left side of your screen on the two player, and the, or and on the and one player. You yeah. see John on the left and John on the right. Oh yeah, another Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, Jonathan on the right though spells it. He signed up as Johnson, but of course uh, Keith Kid, uh, it's not spelling with the H. He's, he's more of the uh, J O N kind of guy, and then you have uh, Johnson oh, right, with yeah. the H. So that's how you can differentiate these two guys. But uh, oh, it looks like these guys are gonna be switched up. Yeah, it looks like the names are swapped. Swap them around. Swap them around. Awesome. There you go. Get the names correctly there for you guys. You got Geef Kid versus John Son. Of course, John, uh, he plays Bison as his main, but well, also he has. Uh, I think he played Bison. Yeah. I think he's done with Bison. I think he is. Yeah. He's, he, it's, he I says think the it's character too bores him. He says it's too brainless. Uh, I can appreciate that. Yeah. He should tell uh, George that. Ooh. Nah, it is a brainless character, and there's nothing you really can do about that. But John has been trying to work on some other characters, and it's not like he's a. I always say, you know, you have people that are Geef players that are Geef players, and then you have people that are Geef players that are a good player that play Geef. And I think right. John's son is an example of a good player that happens to play Bison. Right, so, so Geef kid looks like he's working on his Ryu here, which absolutely. I think is kind of interesting. Yep, try not to show off that secret tech just yet. That, I mean, that slow fireball is so slow. No option select and a back dash. Option select there. Yep. It's a sweep. Or Tatsu, or really anything. You get the best option selects. Actually, what you. Yeah, you should actually do Tatsu because that beats both options. I believe. And a lot of dashing from John Sun. Yeah, That's kind of trying to be aggressive there. Works out. Wow. Now he has the corner control. What's the setup? Yeah, I think he wanted a throw. Kind of couldn't make up his mind in time. Yeah, right. of course, this is a little newer character to me. It's not. He hasn't been uh, putting in a lot of time in this game. But he definitely has been trying to up his game as well. Nice overhead from Geef Kid. <laughs> the Alan Sun, I like to call that. Yeah. The mash. Except Alan would be mashing the low strong. Low strong, yep. It works. Oh, too. nice. Not. Uh, it was nice low strong. I would have liked to see him come off the low strong into more movement. Because the cancel, there was no chance. Yep. Either you had to do an unsafe move and not know if it was going to hit for a combo, or you had to do the light one and then it, it wasn't in range. Well, to be fair, the heavier they are, the less negative they are. So you should have done heavy there and it would have been safe regardless. Except for Geek could input an ultra in between the little strong. That's end. true. 
Which that's is actually some tech that we saw Daigo use with Evil Ryu. Absolutely. Against Luffy at the uh, Canada Cup, I believe, is where he unveiled that. Here so that's like the third meeting in a row that Geek Kid Ooh, has missed completely. That, that close beam kick there from Rose, it's completely airborne from, I think, like, yeah. you know, very early on. It's actually throw invincible specifically, too. Yep. And I learned that from Twitch chat, if yep. you can believe that. Yeah, throw invincible because it's airborne. You can't throw people that are air. And I air. just realized, okay, good punish there for extra meter, but I just realized that um, John Sun is using Ultra One. Wow. Wait, it's, it's anti-fireball. Anti-fireball, yeah. But uh, just something you scarcely see, people really like the orbs. Well. That's I don't price. think spectators like the orbs. I think the orbs are kind of boring usually, but no completion there from Geef Kid. Didn't believe in his little low short there. Oh, wow. Just do it again. Heavy uppercut. Oh, I don't like these FADCs, though. He's not okay. getting the full FADC. Right, see, that would have been an activation. That would have been a perfect uh, Ultra 2 activation yep. if he had he taken it. Oh, man. And he's not... He's not it seems like he's not even uh, using the Ultra 1 to his advantage. There's another EXL Spar on Wake Up. People just get, uh, I was talking to Robbie the other day, he's like, people just play about Ken for using their meter on wake up, but you never not see a Rose do EXL Spar on wake up. And that's what John Sons are doing this entire set. Yeah. Good completion. Not quite at the range where it would hit for anything. What if he caught the back dash with Ultra 1? Wouldn't that just be a glorious moment? Crouch situation? jab. Option select the Ultra option 1. Select. Mm, I literally would have lost my mind. Do her crouch jabs even chain? Nope. So you, <laughs> you wouldn't really be able to do that. No, no, it works just fine. You just It's just like every other option, it's like the Ultra. You just do jab, and then during the recovery frames, you get put the Ultra. So oh, okay. so if it blocked you know, or hit, it doesn't matter. And if it hits, then well, even with Ryu, I do one jab and op Ultra 1. I don't, do, I don't do two. It was delicious. Thank you. Shout-outs to, I don't know her name, but yeah. They, uh, they actually come up here to take care of us now because we've made such a good name for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's why you should behave if you're an FGC community member. And now you see John Sun. Wait, an FGC member. Because yep. otherwise you're saying fighting game community the community, community member. member. <laughs> ATM machine. All right. So <laughs> John Sun, back to his roots. Wow. Seeing the bison. Good, uh... So of course, nice. the uh, yeah, good punish there. The bicycle kick, of course, being airborne, goes over a lot of low pokes, and that's where you're going to see where you get blown up a lot for in this matchup. Is that he'll do a sweep or low forward, and then bison is what <laughs> just like that. Wow, that's a see. Johnson has a whiff punishes like that. He's got him. He definitely has him. He uses the uh, the teleport a lot too. Like very strange for just bison to player. See that, yeah. So we're just he might use it right here, just for fun. Mm -mm. Should have done a walk back before the jump medium kick. That actually would have made a safe jump. Nice. So you do so you do back throw, dash forward, walk back a step, jump roundhouse or jump medium kick or jump hard punch. And they all work. Okay. And it's a safe jump against uh, three friend DPs. Alright, so Geek Kid using some of that meter full screen. Nice combo there from John. Mm -hmm. Of course, those are all two-frame links. Yeah, they're not chain cancels like most low shorts are. Yeah, more akin to Yang than it is to uh, Ryu, for example. Safe pressure Ooh, here in the that. corner, keeping him out of the air. Basically, the uh, meter use equivalent of doing stand roundhouse to catch their jumps. Man, you see that low, strong nice. pressure? This is great. Oh my god, the safe. Faded it out. That was amazing. He did He did the uh, low forward frame trap, then he did the close, fierce frame trap, then he did safe against DP. John Sun is reading Geef Kid like a book right now until that happens. Yeah, nice <laughs> combo there from Geef Kid. Gonna get pretty good damage. All right, he properly blocks the uh, the scary hands, the spooky hands. <laughs> oh, that's death. Yep. Uh, that far strong is just it's it's just toxic. It's so bad with Bison for the most part. It's yeah. so easily focusable. But this is some solid Bison play here from John Sun. I wish I saw this yeah, more often. Relatively safe looking sweep there, and uh, rightly so. Mm. Geef Kid didn't go for a punish. And a couple of big normals now that Geef Kid's focused through. So maybe I would look for John to kind of ease up on those. All right, misses combo there, but still pretty good damage. And he's got Geef Kid close to the corner. And he's going to keep oh. him there. Woo! Can't do anything with okay. that. Okay, yep. OTG sweep. Yeah, that was the best he could do, actually. Yeah. Okay, he gets thrown back into the corner, though. And Geef Kid just looking for the ultra conversion, it looks like. Yep. Of course, that one bar ultra conversion in the corner from UX Fireball is super strong. Right. Anytime you convert to ultra for one bar, you know you're good. John just smartly building some meter here. S and safely, I might oh, add. He got an anti-air right there. That was perfect range for Stan Roundhouse to anti-air. Yep, usually uh, 
Wow. Nice cross up. Hasn't Pressure. used that all set. All set hasn't used that. Now you see him in the second game. Yep, nice. that's it. So now we'll see, I think, the unwinnable matchup. Yeah. Me, okay, so in theory, you're like, yeah, Bison versus Geef. That should be in Bison's favor 100 times over. But I think it's in Geef's favor. I think so, too. Right. I played as Bison against uh, Vegas' Geef. So we, me, and, me and the other commentator, you know, we played each other with these two characters. I played as the supposed, uh, you know, winner of the matchup. Right. And my Bison's probably... Uh, pretty comparable, I'd say, to you know Vegas and Zangief, and I lost, I think, ten out of ten matches. Yeah. So, I so, mean, so basically, what I'm saying, it's ten zero Geef. Yeah, I mean, I did everything you should do. You should do stand around house, stay away from Geef by answering with stand around house. Uh, you should use, uh, you know, the uh, the safe pressure against Geef. I, I just, I died though, right? I just died. Yeah. Even the uh, light scissor kicks, not as pediable. So that's one thing that John's gonna have working in his favor here. But they are ultraable. Yeah, they are ultraable, ultraable, ultraable. And also, are they super? They are super punishable. They, they are super punishable. Okay. Oh, super is equal in range to medium SPD, and I don't know if medium SPD would would catch them were they minus two. But he has to do it so poorly spaced. I think either of those are not going to be an issue. That's probably true. You should right. do jump back fears and wake up a lot in this matchup. It's very strong. With bison. With bison. Okay. Absolutely. Very strong. Yeah. Nice pressure there. Punish that. Perfect. Good. Perfect job punch. waiting on the fierce. Well, I guess it's not fierce. It's the punch lariat. I said alterable before. I think I said that. Alterable is real, dude. That's real, dude. And so are you, Jay Yon. <laughs> Jay Yon. Nice punish. Trying oh, to keep Zangief in the corner. I like how he did. I like how he canceled. Oh, that doesn't work. Got to do stand like kick the crouch medium kick. Nice punish. He's being really patient on these uh, oh, extra spinny SPDs. He should have. He should have reacted the crouch jab to that. But of course, hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah. Inside this 2020. Nice combo there. Okay, smart use of meter to just get out of trouble. Even if it did put him in the corner, Zangief isn't particularly pressuring him at this range. I like how that's an eight frame stand meeting kick. That sucks. Oh, no punish. Oh, no punish. You should always mash jab there. There's no reason not to. Wow, that sucks. Nice anti air. Ooh, this gives gotta, him a He's got to do it the other way too, yeah. That's that's the Geef Kid special back dash into light punch SPD. Yeah. A really good option that Zangief has. Absolutely. The back dash isn't that great, but... Especially in the corner. You know, something like a level 2 focus, they block it, you back dash, and then you just SPD anyway. Yep. The light range. You have to opt to select it. Have to. With Bison, that's going to be stand light. It's going to be crouching light punch. Then you press roundhouse and standing light kick. That's your option to select. They'll beat almost everything he has. Except for green hand. You'll get wrecked. <laughs> I guarantee. I like him using the head stomp to gain distance on Geef. That's really smart. Nice. Yeah, I want to see more of the uh, scissor kick pressure. Don't whiff them, though. Wow. Because I would not put it past Geef Kid to be able to whiff punish those with SPD. Oh, that's up. minus. Yep. Well, he missed the combo. Didn't get the full damage. Jumping Renhouse actually has a pretty good... Uh, Woo! Okay. Uh, see, that was that uh, teleport usage that you don't really see from many Bison players. Jumping around is actually a pretty decent. If you cross up with jumping, wow, that was a fantastic whip yeah, punish. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. The uh, the thing is about uh, jumping around with Bison actually beats Larry pretty decently if you jump over with it. Okay. If you jump, if you if you if you cross up with jumping around house, it usually beats SPD or Larry. It's pretty pretty well in comparison to his jumping medium kick. And if you're hand landing in the front, you should always use jumping fears because it's his best option. Okay. And uh, the two vulnerable parts of Lariat are right in front and behind of the head, right? Yeah. It, uh, just, it just, really, it's just a big giant, like, it's, oh, it's like a hat he wears. It's just a big giant thing of vulnerability. Big four frame invincible hat that does 100 damage. Four frame, damage. one button. One, you just see, like, see, I'm a Geef player right now, right? Here's my reversal. All right. There you go. That's it. Bam. Your reversal. Congratulations. No stick needed. No stick needed. You can cancel it directly oh, out should, of crouching. Oh, don't. Yeah, I'll say you better hold down because then it's actually even better because you're crouching and then you just start up in a standing position like that and then you just become a big giant invincible spinning piece of poop. And then uh, I might also add that whenever, let's say you screw up, right? Okay. Okay, I was, I was playing against Thor's Geef on Thursday. I okay. jumped, I, I did a perfect uh, lariat bait. He actually starts up, so he was in the corner. Okay. I jump behind him. He does a lariat facing away from the corner. So he's going, you know, he so, you know, I, a, I jumped over I him, right? So then he's sitting there spinning like an idiot, right? right. So I'm like, 
How do I punish this guy? I do one, two, three, four jabs, all of them with. I four, I jabbed him four times and he never hit. And, yeah. then, and then he punishes me with SPD for trying to punish him. That's something that's really frustrating to new players struggling with. Well, really every player it's frustrating, but to new players, it's so hard to explain that. Yeah. It just doesn't make any Why are my moves going directly through him? I can see, and it's just like, sorry, man, Skeef, that's invincibility. <laughs> and, and then, and then you sweep him, like, and then Geef does it, and then he like, and he just like does this, where he just goes like, yeah, across he the screen. Yeah, he drives it around. Yeah, he drives, and it's like he does it at your sweep range, and then he, let's say he does it wrong, then you try to walk forward and punish him, and he just runs away right. <laughs> with his spinning four frame invincible. I don't know, Mortal dude. Wind. Dude, I, I always say Geef is, like, in theory, the best character in the game. He has a dive kick. He has a two-frame, longest SPD range in the game. He has an ultra that does 500 damage. He has fantastic footsies using that standing medium punch, standing roundhouse, and standing medium kick. All fantastic buttons. And standing and crouching light kicks are fantastic for whiff punishing. Cancel into 140 damage. What, is the, what, does, the character actually, what does the character actually lack to be able to get in? That's the only thing he lacks. Everything else he has. He has yeah. damage, he has mix-ups, he has stun. And El Fuerte's not a big deal, dude. El Fuerte is an easy character to play against as long as you know him. I don't think anybody who's ever played about El Fuerte actually has played in El Fuerte more than probably two matches. Yeah. Because El Fuerte is one of the worst characters in the game. Geef, I agree with that. Geef beats El Fuerte in everything he does, if you think about it. I'm not going to go into it because we have a match starting up, but that is a really true statement. Now, you so see this Mike? is Mike Webb from South Dakota. Well, yeah. he's from St. Louis, but... He is currently living in South Dakota and was cool enough to come down and return. Yeah. And Shadowlin, Shadowlin, I think is how you say that name. I, you got the, me, dude. The claw player playing on a hitbox, guys. Oh, really? So I think that's pretty cool. Wow. That is yeah. really cool. He got a head reset there from Mike Webb. He's going to take round one. Again, that's what I don't like about Elena. You just you don't have meter, you do the same thing anyway. You just smash hard punch, uh, mallet smash, and then it's only minus one, I think. So. Might as well. The only thing you can do is air throw her actually with Vega. <laughs> Hilariously enough. Hold up and air throw. Interesting. Yeah, she does have that really floaty jump arc. Alright, nice. Flash kick. Oh yeah, cross up. No, I forgot. She went for the standing light kick. I don't think that's really comboable, is it? What? After standing light kick? From on Vega? Yeah. Yeah, you could do uh, low forward on counter hit. On counter hit. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I think you do crouch jab as well or something awkward. Or probably stay in roundhouse just because that button's amazing. I don't know. Bye. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of sky high shenanigans here yeah. from Miss Vega. That's minus six, yeah. I think. Smart FADC there from Mike Webb to continue his pressure string. Just gonna, yeah, just going to wake up just with the low jab. Or yep. that might have even been the low short. It was a little short to low jab. Yeah, so uh, kind of an interesting matchup here. Vega, of course, kind of known for his long buttons. But I mean, slow. among other things. Yeah, but his jab is four frames. Yep. Okay, so when you think of the claw, you think, look how far it reaches, how unfair is that, it's probably so sharp. Okay, but Elena's Crouching Light Punch has a further hitbox than Vega's. Yep, absolutely. The furthest and, in the game. And it's one frame faster, and it's chainable, and also it combos the stuff. Yep. It's literally better than Vega's Crouch App in every way. Yeah. Power creep, boys. Yep. Yeah, Vega is a little sad <laughs> in comparison to Elena. I think Elena's just the better version of Vega. Wow, again, nice. he's, just done, he's just done the overhead every single time. He hasn't done a Reset. single other thing. And Mike Webb's actually missed a lot of his combos, but for the most part it hasn't mattered because they all kind of turn into resets anyway. Yep, and you just keep comboing into... Wow, she just laid down. That was really cool. i never seen that before. So this is... Match point for match Mike point. Webb. See, there he got combo. He did, I think, standing like kick to crotch jab and a backflip. And there. here comes a combo. Never, that was a combo until it was a reset, just like that one. Oh, dropped every single one of those. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, you still got Half-Life on Vega. Nice claw there from Vega. Ooh, that was dirty. Okay, good knockdown. I like this pressure here from uh, Shadowin. Although he I, could have definitely been DP'd. Isn't Elena's DP three frames? Yep. The EX one? Yeah, no, the light one is. The oh, EX okay. one's four. Oh, okay. Wow, that's still pretty good, four frames. Yep, pretty solid. Okay. Stain Light Kick. I like the Stain Light Kick. That's German Luger-esque movement there. Yeah, he definitely uses that Shadow Luger Kick quite a bit. I love that move. Uh, Activation! And hold that life lead forever, dude. And a little bit more Elena for the rest of this match. Yeah, I think he's... He nice. dropped approximately every single combo. But it doesn't matter because it's Elena. Rip. Yep. At least we only saw one activation. Yeah. A brief Elena set is my favorite kind of Elena set. Yeah. Elena is actually a really cool character. It, but she just kind of sucks. 
Yeah, I mean, she has her place. Uh, Mike Webb's alternate character. Well, actually, I don't know what he would consider his main now, but Rufus was his main. Yep, Rufus. And, and now, he plays a solid Rufus. So, yeah, I, I've never seen him play Rufus, so that kind of tells you about Atlanta's place in the meta. Yep. I think she's I think she's so well positioned in the meta, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, she beats Akuma. She beats, you know, she beats... Fei Long. Long. Fei Long was, like, the original character that you use Elena to beat. Yep. They're like, hey, Fei Long, I'm the better version of you. And then it's like, oh, wait, Akuma, I beat you too. Uh, I'm sorry, how do I pronounce the second name? Muda, 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 Muda. Or is that Muda? Muda, Muda, Muda. Okay. Muda, Muda. No, you don't know Oh, any it's from anime and you oh. made me say oh. it on stream? Oh. Jesus. Oh. What? Oh. I don't want to <laughs> I've never. I don't know anything about JoJo's. I'm pure. <laughs> I'm pure. I watch American football. Is that better? That's what? Chad. It's Chad. Oh, okay. Chad, you heathen! Right. Shout out to Chad. Shout out to the heretic. Sinner. The heretic. Yeah. All right. So the next up, it looks like it's going to be uh, the best Balrog in Kansas City versus <laughs> Wraith. Yeah, of course, the best Balrog, a huge meme in the Kansas City area. Uh, I'm the best Balrog. Again, uh, we covered our sponsors a little earlier, but however, we're going to go through them again. No uh, reason why we shouldn't thank Eli. Yeah, Price absolutely. At every turn, every tournament, dude. He's here every time, except for the one we said. But uh, yeah. yeah, he was. He's been here almost every single time. He's been just rocking it out with those bead sprites, looking nice as always. Again, there's some sample designs there on the screen for you. I mean, he makes you know even multiple colors of some characters. He'll take requests. I mean, he'll do anything you want. Look, he's got four different Cyclopses. Yeah, he's got, look, he's got three different Wolverines there in the body. He's got your color of Wolverine. Five either. Wolverines. There's a oh. original, the regular Wolverine, X-Force Wolverine, Savage Wolverine, and then Logan, and then... Uh, Logan the Scientist? No, it's <laughs> it's Patch. It's when he it's his alter ego when he dresses up in a suit and wears a patch eye. <laughs> and he just calls it, it Patch. You, you just made that up? No, I swear to God, that's it's, a real thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, I don't uh, understand comic books. He, he does that in... Um, Astonishing X-Men among... Asto I mean, <laughs> that's my favorite. The Astonishing X-Men. Well, they have to give them all different names. The Astonishing... Like, it's astonishing. Anyway, people. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you don't want to come up here for fighting games, which I don't understand because I don't know I don't how know you, you wouldn't want to... I don't know you if you want to come up for fighting games. But if you don't want to come up and play video games with us, there are some other cool upcoming events here at the Alamo Draft House. The Halo movie, Red vs. Blue. The, or the, sh the series, I should say. Yep. The Red vs. Blue Machinima. Uh, that other thing, the second thing that I'm not even going to say out loud. Machinima? Or Love Live, the school Thank item. you. Yeah, it's an anime, I think. <laughs> I don't know much about it. Oh, it's it. so anime. I know that because I've I've already seen the trailer. Yeah, I saw like the trailer, yeah. Times. All right, shout out to Media Mics, uh, providing AJ with some of the hardware and, I, yeah, some of the hardware that he's using today on stream. What? Yeah. Oh, maybe I was wrong about the next matches. I said it was going to be Wraith versus Chad. Where's the Chad, no C at? But I see Pickle Chicken. Where's the C? Where do you not put the C? In Pickle or in Chicken? Okay. Yeah. Take, gotta, yeah, take it the C. Got to make sure that there's... Dude, it was RuneScape. Yeah. 15 characters, bro. Or 10 characters? 15 characters, whatever that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no, you have two L's. You have two L's. Back one. Yeah, there you go. No, no, B, P, I, K, no, 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 yeah. What? Oh pick, my a God, pick, a dude. pick a Lele chicken. Oh, you yeah, still have an extra E, dude. There you go. You're done. There you go. Oh my pick, God. pick a Lele chicken. Actually, there's a Counter Strike player, okay? Fun st funny story. Funny story. There's a Counter Strike player. Uh, he's from, I think he's from Sweden. Okay. I wouldn't be, I'm not too sure. He's He used to be on Team LGB. His name is Michael Lele. So I'd just like to That's say that. pretty so pretty close. Pikalele. Michaelele. Yep. His That's name it. is Mikhail Bill. Mikhail Bill. They have beautiful names over there. Dude, it's, it's beautiful. In Europe. Actually, you know, a lot of different countries have some really cool sounding names. Yeah, it's not like John Smith. It's like... <laughs> that's, well, like Daigo Umehara. That's, that's a really badass that name. That is like cool. That. You go to any country and that name sounds tight. And then it's like, you're like, John Wilkinson? And then they're just like... Okay, John Wilkinson. Like, okay, idiot. <laughs> Dumb nut. Stupid idiot. That literally just means John, son of Wilkins, you know? Yeah. Like, that's kind of lame. You're, you're lame. What does your last name mean? What does Becco mean? Like fruit tree or something? <laughs> fruit tree? <laughs> no, it probably means... Uh, oh, God, I see somebody getting T-Hawk tossed around all over the place. Yeah. Right it's Woo! Dallas, the eight-on player. You gotta get the... Gotta get the... He just lost. I would... I'm wearing a headset. Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> I, had to, I had to peel off the headset to Ric Flair for these <laughs> for these guys. You can probably hear them all over but the room. But comic books are manly. Comic books are manly. Anime is a... Uh, yeah, comic books are... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of part of my persona to to hate anime. Yeah, it is. Just kind of... Yeah, see, like, at Meat Rack, what comes the, with it. our Tuesday weekly hookup that we have, uh, there's no anime allowed. No anime. Except, actually, for, except for anime games. Anime games yeah, are Yeah, anime games. And I actually have played some anime games. Yeah. like I don't, I don't play any... I don't play anime games. But they're allowed. But I have played, like, Guilty Gear and stuff. However, you can't talk about the latest episode of JoJo's. Because yeah, we will kill you. I don't even know. I don't know. That's what he said with JoJo, so I'm assuming. Oh, apparently Patch was also his... Code. Yeah, so yeah. Patch is a, re a reoccurring character of Wolverines. Need to watch better anime. Or I could just continue not watching anime. Wow, Axiom off stream. Why was that match off stream, I might add? Yeah. But it was off stream, and Axiom just beat in gamer. Alright, so it looks like we're running Geek Kid through the ringer here. Yeah. I'm gonna make him fight Pickle Chicken now. Pickle Chicken, a Honda main DiCapri alternate from Wichita. Strong player. For sure. Yeah. If he didn't, I think if he played a not bottom two character, oh, yeah. I think it would probably be a little bit better for Poor him. Guy. And he is using Honda. I think this is a good matchup for Honda. I don't think it's, you know, like 6'4 or anything like that. It might be 6'4, though. I for, don't know. For, for Honda? For Honda. I yeah. think it's good yeah, Honda, for Honda. Honda plays pretty well against any grappler because he can turtle like a... The standing low roundhouse and... Uh, <laughs> that. Right, that hits low. The standing move hits low. Nice. He said he doesn't feel comfortable with the links, so you'll probably see him uh, try not to go for those hard links. Cause again, Look he'd rather go for not damage and get SPD for his trouble. Totally. Very understandable. See, there's a good, there's that good footsie button from Geek. That standing medium punch, very strong button. And now you see his anti jump and anti back dash ultra two. Here it is. Nope, going for SPD. So you probably need to watch out for that uh, ultra tune on the next mix up opportunity. Nice. Going after it with that EX Xbox Live. Xbox Live, dude. Xbox Live again? Nope. Okay. Nice uh, punish. Is he gonna do the whole thing? Wow, he went for the big combo. Yeah, he told me don't yell at me if I did EX hand loops. Oh, Alright, good poke there from Geef Kid to take the round. So that's one Geef Kid's way. Wow, OP. Character two side has three wins in a row already. OP. Confirmed inherited advantage. Now you see Geef with a whole lot of meter, though. That's a pretty big advantage. I like that chip, just getting that, ooh. Yeah, the hands, I think, are super important in this match. Just because they just... Well, eat. if you can do that much chip damage, the Zangief player kind of has to respect it, and then you might see him get impatient. Not Geef Kid, though. Poised as ever. Hit him with the Zoda reset. Yep. Yeah, I remember Geef Kid did on stream, and the dude was like, that's my tech! Yeah. <laughs> that was, that really was funny. a KO. Zoda was like... Did he just do that? That's my tech. I was <laughs> like, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I told Ultra David about that, and Ultra David was like, Shh, please. I literally did that at the release party for the game in LA. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so Geef Kid takes a while to close out that round, but that just kind of shows his patience. Yep. So um, he's going to take game one. I'd be surprised if Pickle Chicken switched away to DiCapri. I just want to see uh, more patience coming out from Pickle Chicken. Yeah. Jumping away from situations that might be dangerous to him is going to be... Like, he just doesn't want to be in Zangief footsie range. It's right. just kind of that simple. Like, Which makes sense. You just want to be not near Geef. Like, I, I know that sounds really really intuitive and easy, but I mean, he was just barely in the range of Geef, and he got hit with, like, 500 damage. So, like... That just kind of puts in perspective how much damage this character can do in such a very short amount of time. That's the reason why you have to play so perfectly as Honda, though, in this matchup. Always Geef will just simply eat you up like he did in that last round. Yeah. But Axiom, again, beating it. Oh, what happened? This It died. What happened? Hold on. Can you uh, can you guys still hear us in the chat? Yeah, we're gonna I think you can. Yeah, sorry guys about the stream. What the hell? What is this? Hey, I found it. Good shit, me. You kicked that out of there, didn't you, Fire Team? I guess I did. No, you probably. I have size 12 feet. Oh yeah, you probably did because it's. 
Here, just kind of tuck that away. All right, sorry about that, guys. Literally, the commentator screwing everything. Yeah, up. the commentator's curse. Actually, in the physically realist. affecting the game. Yeah, we stepped on the HDMI cord. One of us. I won't name who it was. But it, it definitely wasn't me. not me. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we're gonna get right back into it. Sorry about that. Gents and gems. That's what Axiom, that, Axiom would say, dude. That's beautiful, though. Yeah, he's Gents mega classy. Gems. I'd like to meet his parents. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like you are so classy. All right. Back into it. Same song, different verse. Oh, no combo yeah. there. No cancel. Trying to look for that hands, of course. Uh, really always safer to go into the hands, though, because if you just do the jab, chances are you're not immediately going to backdash, right? So then you're in SPD range. Oh, okay. He stuck out the stand roundhouse there. Thank you, Jeremy Yon. Cups is going to be competing today. Yeah, Cups is competing. So uh, fire team stepped in here. Wow. His fire team is retiring. Yep, it's true. No, it's jumping, true. jumping fierce, the Superman punch, counter hit, and then he just walked forward and the light punch Is the low short there? Is that a setup from Zengi? What what did he do? He just was he did an SPD and then he did full screen low short. I don't know. Meanwhile, pickle chicken using the fiercest, heaviest, fattest, nastiest buttons to yep. take that round. Just trying to beat this Russian man to death. But Geef Kid is loaded up on meter now. I would imagine mm. he'll get super in this round. And that means, well, one, the super punish possibility, but more likely some light normal canceled into EX green hand and then a focus. Oh, no, stupid. you can't let that happen. Right so now. much tempo that uh, Zengief gets right back Yep. for the cost of two meters. Oh, mm. oh, oh he now gets yeah, up. I hate to see this kind of thing. No anti uh, there. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh, just to reset. Yeah, we'll call it. I missed the uh, stand medium. Oh kick. my god, that standing fear is nice such button. a good button. So then again, now we're seeing again we're seeing him occupy the range that that three bars is not going to matter. If Geek can land a standing light kick in the ex green hand, it's going to be the round. Okay, so you decent trade chill. there. Now he used that headbutt, which is minus eight, but no punish there from Zengief. And that minus seven for uh, standing roundhouse. Now he's a bar. He has an anti air available. Nice stand roundhouse for counter hit. Yeah, Extra he, mega bonus stand. See, you see, you see uh, Pickle Chicken walking backwards again. He's still charging headbutt this entire time. Yeah. That's the reason why he keeps walking backwards. Of Ooh. Nice. That was stand amazing. Fierce. The chop. Uh, I don't like George giving. Oh like my this. God! Retire team. How is Jeremy Yon so you good at this? Dude, fire dream. He and comes up with team. the best nicknames for everybody. Oh, well, mainly just me. <laughs> yeah. It is, well, you have a very malleable name. I do. Fire Shout butt. Out to Dan over here in the corner behind the uh, Geek Kid. <laughs> All right. So George talking. To I don't. Want, I don't like George talking to. Yeah. Pickle I don't chicken. know why they're why he's doing that. I feel like Pickle Chicken's not listening. Also. Yeah. I don't think just kind of tuning him out, just nodding a bunch. Take a drink of the water, rehydrate. Shut up, George. There we go. Back in, back into it. All right. And here we go. He didn't need anything. I mean, he did. He did it. To be fair, uh, he played that round perfectly. Yeah, the entire thing. Very well just, just again, just staying it. See, he needs anti those, but he has no meter right now. There you go. Uh, right there. Just the like trickery. we're talking about. Look out. <laughs> Look out. Sumo oh smash. wow. Oh. The XSPD, not the biggest damage. What? Ooh, I got one, one too? I got one too, nerd. Pun nice. Perfect punish, punish on the Lariat. Perfect punish. It's the jump punish. Anti Great anti-air. Geef Kid looking actually a little impatient wow. here. Great Fantastic Lariat, Fantastic whip punish. Is it no. Gonna... Okay, I thought that was headbutt. Ultra. That's the round. How did he have the charge for that? He's the godlike. Wow. This the whole man. crowd doing the sumo Yo, hands. George, George, sit down. George, along sit down. with E-Honda. George, sit down. George, sit down. No. George sit down. He just literally beat up Geek Kid. Yeah. And I think Pickle Chicken's not hearing what George has to say. The whole room on Pickle Chicken's side, this has to be pretty tough for, for Geef Kid. Yeah. Oh, this is amazing stuff. Okay, no punish. Oh, yeah. wow. Just Lariat, Lariat, Lariat. Yeah, smart challenger from Geef Kid. Oh, man. He needs to get Geef out of his face. That's his opportunity. Nice oh, he's trying to bait the SVD. See him sitting right there at the light punch. Oh, that's late. Minus eight, no punish. Minus seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still uh, staying both characters at competitive ranges. Man, you see that advanced bait there okay. uh, by uh, Pickle Chicken not trying to bait out the uh, Lariat. Wow. Try to anti it a little early. Now, I think this round is going to go to Geek Kid most likely, but that's okay. He's got to, I'll say he had to probably use that last bar, but it doesn't matter. Now he has three versus one bar. This is going to be a huge yeah. advantage for Pickle Chicken. George, please sit down. This is pretty good. George, please sit down. 
You can't coach people between, between rounds anyway, but... Nice pressure here, pushing Zangief back and getting some chip. And now loaded up on that butter. So the next uh, hands could be canceled into super for big damage. I don't know if that's something that Pickle Chicken wants to use, or if he'd rather keep the, the, oh, we'll wait. the EX meter. Yep. Okay, yeah, really, really smart stuff from Geef Kid, kind of mixing it up here. Uh, See, I think one of these, yeah, you have to use the EX. Show him that you will. Oh, uh, no anti, that's going to hurt. That's a couple times no that punish. he's done that now. No and punish. No punish again. Oh, perfect anti. Now this gives him opportunity. Here. This gives him a total opportunity to come this, make this comeback. Counter hit, stand strong, and no combo. This man is crazy. 2011? This is, oh, oh my god. My goodness. Is he going to do it again? Oh, he could have okay. done it again. Yeah, good pressure. Using that stand fierce, comboable on hit. Give Kid sounding off after he misses the cancel on his standing light kick. Perfect. Pickle Chicken just rumbling down those hands for extra chip. Like drumline, Nick Cannon. Oh, oh no, the clean jump in. Oh, oh my god! Wow. Pickle Chicken just lights it up at the last second. Oh. And honestly, if you're Geef Kid, you kind of have to see that coming. Yeah. I mean, it's Honda. That's like the most. Yeah. Who who uses their EX meter for the reversal more than Honda? Yeah. Every it, it, time he does the it, move, it, he's going to use the meter. He doesn't have a not bar reversal. He, it's it's one bar or nothing. Yeah. And that's exact. He did stand. It was a crouch jab, crouch jab. And then he missed the combo. Right. If you don't have the combo, there's nothing. It's it's. If you don't have the combo. Yeah. To just don't do it. You're just probably doing crouch, yeah, out, crouch, just, jab, just cool chill. Out. Chill. Just cool out. I bet you since uh, Geef with uh, with one bar is a strong character with chip. I mean, that EX screen is right. practically unreactable, hits airborne opponents, and it does a ton of chip. Yeah. Like, there's no reason why. That just I mean, really good play from Jonathan to whittle him down so far. Uh, I think one of the key mistakes he made towards the end, obviously, there's a lot of that set that we could talk about because it went the maximum length. Yeah. But um, he did three low shorts into his EX green hand. Increased the scaling. Yep. It wasn't worth it. Should have done crouch, light kick, probably stand light kick into yeah, it. Yeah, and I don't think it would have killed, but, but it would have put him in certain uh, just imminent death chip range. Yep, absolutely. So just something for Geek Kid to think about. Eliminated in the second, or uh, taken to losers in the second round of play. By Pickle Chicken, yeah. nonetheless, a Honda player. Definitely not something that Geek Kid is used to. Oh, and great. All right, so up next, we're going to have Charlie and Robbie. Robbie B. Yep. Now, the reason that I say, oh, great, is because they've already played so much today. Yep. Which is fun to watch, you know, good casuals and everything, but it really sucks when they have to later on play them, play each other in tournament. Yep, absolutely. Wow, that, yeah. was, that was crazy. It was a little Xbox Live. I will admit, but also it's it was it so wasn't, obvious. I'm not saying it's Xbox Live though, because Xbox Live he would have done it well, every single. That's what they say. No, no, I know, I know. But to counter that, I would say it's not Xbox Live because yeah. he didn't do it every time. He, I think he did EX headbutt reversal twice that entire set. Yeah. So I mean, it wasn't like he really did anything. You know, X, Xbox Live, you'd be like, oh, you did something near me. Here's an EX headbutt. Like Pickle Chicken, save those opportunities for when he needed them, and right. obvi and al also additionally. You can't just mash headbutt. That doesn't exist. You yeah. have to input it. He knew he was going to drop the stand short specifically. He knew he would get two crouch jabs, then miss the link. He knew he knew it wouldn't be one short or one jab miss. He knew it would be three jabs miss. He knew specifically two jabs and miss. Well, also, it's it's not like Gift Kid got a solid punish on every single block DX headbutt. Yeah. He didn't punish the It was minus one. eight, I believe, that you said? Yeah. Minus eight, and uh, again, no... No punish. And I think uh, standing light kick would punish it. Yeah. I, th I think. Yeah, walk forward standing light kick. Or at, the, or at the very least, you could do just regular green hand. Yeah. Regular light punch green I hand. I don't know if they're... Are they eight frames? What, the green hands? Yeah, they may be too slow. No, no, the light punch one's pretty fast. I think it's seven frames start or something like that. Something like that. The thing is Possibly. about it. The thing is about it though is that you just do it and then you light punch SPD or whatever mix up. That's true. He just does a free. It's like a. It's like a. Just I'm here sitting here at zero, staring at you mi situation. And whenever Geef can get that in that matchup, it's amazing because he wants to be here at even advantage the entire time. But yeah. All right. So KMBC Robbie V at 10 p.m. For those of you who don't know, Robbie works for Channel Nine News. Robbie, forgetting to shake his hand. 
Robbie was brought up in the school of Street Fighter. Yep. In a community that always shakes hands. Yep. And uh, Robbie V, of course, a Ken Maine. Yep, he is a Ken main. Everybody's excited for Ken. Interesting. Yeah. I've never, I yeah, never, I never feel that yeah. sentiment. Yeah, I'm always like, dang, it's Ken. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, Robbie, pretty strong Ken player, made it out of his pool at Evo this year. And I might add that Robbie V is actually from Oak Grove, unlike some yeah, other competitors. He is really from Oak Grove, born and raised. He born the, and raised. He was on the baseball. Spent, uh, most no. of my days. Nope. No. Nope. No. Is that copyrighted? Probably. Oh, it is. probably is actually. <laughs> Rip. I don't know. I accidentally sing on stream all the time. All right. Wow. So Robbie's starting out aggressive, going straight for the uh, step kicks. Oh, that's a really good idea. Going for the car throw instead of the combo. Yeah, the longer he can make these combos, the better, because that oil's wearing off. And man, Hakan on the ground. Nope. Without that was perfect oil. timing. Really bad news. All right, huge round from Robbie here, and that's going to close it out. Yep. Built a ton of meter. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dr. Richard Steele using all of his. Yeah. So this is quite a hole to crawl back from. Luckily for Akan, he starts out pretty wet at the <laughs> beginning of rounds. Yeah, unlike unlike back, absolutely key. Unlike back in Super Rip yeah. Con. Nah, no, but nice you gotta oil read. up. Oh wow, standing like you can wake up. That's a little okay. Robbie V has been reading these uh, SPDs almost perfectly. I don't like. I want to see him use the bar there. It doesn't make any sense not to. He has ultra two, so it doesn't matter if he has two bars or not. And additionally, he does considerably more damage by doing the XDP instead of medium. He, see, that doesn't work. He may be saving bars for FADC on regular uppercuts because kind of a hard read is you know necessary every now and then against a grappler. So that may be his thought process. Wow. And I could see his elbow jerking back. Yeah, I, I could see that he was mashing, mashing that. that. Yeah. But there's really nothing that you can do as a con at that point. That uh, H Shoryuken. That H Shoryuken, yeah. the Marvel notation. Yeah, it reaches so far back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if uh, we saw a focus from Hakan and then into a backdash, and, and then it'll get punished. Or just the, doing crouch, I kick, crouch, I kick, crouch, I kick, and I puts Ken out of. SP, or out of uh, you die right there. Focus, yeah. backdash, and then he catches it with the what the hell? Wow. Oh no, stuffed out of that meter. All right, you got to oil up right here. Oil up? Nope, he's going for setup. Wow, okay. per frame perfect. Pretty smart. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And then he gets the oil. Wow, the oh, whiff punish. Right back in. Whiff punish of the century there from from Dr. Richard Steele. Forward medium punch. So dangerous. 90 damage, I might add. Is that right? Yeah. There's a ton. Nice setup there it's from dead. Charlie. Yep. Charlie looking a little more relaxed in his chair now. <laughs> I don't think Charlie ever looks relaxed. Though dude. always intent. He he's just he's just mashing on those buttons over there. Just and I know nerves are something that I'm not gonna say they get the better of Charlie, but, but it's something a, he struggles with. Yeah, definitely definitely an issue with uh, nice. his play. Anti trip guard ex SPD. Good tech there from both players. Oh no, that whiff. Yeah, is that my six? The yeah. uh, Ford Roundhouse. Uh, oh, oh no, that's terrible can't be punish. The, the punish you wanted. Yeah. But, I mean, any punish is better than no punish. That's true. Yeah. He probably wanted a uh, sure you can there. Yep. That could not have been on purpose. Yeah, there. your best nice punish is Ken there. is crotch like punch, crotch hard punch, heavy punch DP. That's your best punish is Ken. Or, or Tots, of course. That's always an issue. Or up the uh, opportunity. Nice. Cancel yeah. into the crouching frames. Yep. And then a full punish afterwards. Usually. People are content with just escaping the setup. And he got the full 140 damage DP after that, or 150 damage now, excuse me. Good use of the sweep here from Charlie. Oh my god, he just ducked that. See, he did two things really well in that in that couple seconds. A, he jumped back normal. That's what people need to do more against a lot of these offensive characters. Jump back normals are really strong in just negating tempo and pressure. Yeah. And additionally, then he canceled his crouching frames into low forward. Both of them fantastic really ideas. Oh no. Robbie with the wake up, sure you can, and Charlie doesn't punish it. Yeah, he can just release that folks attack forward, medium punch. Nice. Oh. Yeah, he tried for the reset. Right. Okay, Charlie. Charlie's sounding off. He definitely didn't want that coward crouch there. Oh, perfect punish. I feel perfect like punish. Robbie Whoa. may have taken a lesson from Axiom's book. Axiom actually said that something that Charlie really struggles with is neutral drums. He gets punished really hard by neutral drums. He does. He does a lot of, uh, not as much in this matchup just because he's not using Ultra 1, but while well, Robbie B going to get the other say, up. I about to say there's no reason why he should have done that. He must have forgot about it. It's really easy. Yeah, especially That's when they can't get that Ultra part like 35 seconds ago. Oh no. Okay, good use of meter there. The Stan Roundhouse isn't quite going to kill, or Stan Fierce, I'm sorry. 
He has an opportunity. Oh, SVD. Yeah, you just got to expect that. Again, that's where that neutral jump would have really... He really should have done it because he kind of had only one bar, and so yeah. if he would have baited out anything, he'll put it... Charlie's screaming after that one. He's so hyped up. You can yeah. see him over there. That was so close there for Robbie V. I wouldn't say it's an upset if either of these players beat each other. Both these yeah, players these very, two very... Two players that... Com uh, that Made it into the top eight for the Kansas City Challenger Series. Unfortunately, Robbie, though he qualified, was not able to play due to work. But he's here today. So this is kind of a look at what could have been. Yep. Oh, yeah, wow. Nice Trip guard anti air yep. XPDs. This is kind of uh, Charlie's round. So what Robbie needs to do is do some damage control. Just get, in, get his mind back into the right idea. And that's just not going to work. Uh, the, the momentum going to I like that round. he uh, went patient there instead of... You know, trying a desperate uppercut and then making himself look desperate. Yep. So he tried the patient approach, tried to play footsies, kind of like he is now. And this is some good stuff from Charlie. He's playing everything perfectly. Oh, here nice we go. Big punish. Punish. Okay. Now that was, that was big momentum here for yeah. Robbie B. Robbie B, of course, a big momentum player. Yeah, huge momentum player. And oh, also wow. a player who gets better as he gets angrier, I think. Yep. He, he is a shin. He comes Super rare. He becomes shin Robbie. Wow, again, these. Nice this setup. Charlie on match point here. Oh, like this is four Takes in a row. it again. Four of them in a row. Robbie's going to go to losers. Charlie's going to move on. So Robbie isn't finished. Don't worry about it, guys. We will be seeing hate to him see later that kind on. of thing happen. You, you just got to see that. You just got to win those. Yeah. You just got to win those. So pretty unfortunate for Robbie. Yeah, absolutely. Really had the. the Round in his clutches and chose not to do the uppercut uh, during game two. So, good stuff to Charlie, who I think is still attached to something. Uh, I can see his cord. <laughs> no, he got, he got wrapped around his kunai. Really making me nervous. Charlie's like me, dude. Just, just cuts in real life. Ooh. What's up, Zoda? Hey Zoda, did you hear that uh, Geef Kid already lost to Pickle Chicken? Yeah. Figured that might interest you. Feel like you guys have kind of a uh, rivalry going on. Butt heads. Yeah, Mike Love, of course, from South Dakota again. That long drive, I can't yeah. imagine, just for a monthly. But that's good stuff to him for coming out. Of course, he was a St. Louis resident, now resides in South Dakota. And also, you see Axiom, the uh, Ryu player, solid performer. Uh, almost every max out, and he's going to be coming. Wow, the, the synchronized yawn was pretty awesome. Are we yawn? Yeah, we both yawn. Jeremy yawn. Ah, uh, no, but the Axiom, of course, solid. Solid player, and you'll see his Ryu for sure. And I'll leave it to Brad here just for a second. I'm going to go ahead and grab a drink. Oh, will you fill this up? Ha-ha. Yeah. Thank you very much, fire team. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, my God. All right. You guys, if you're ever around fire team, and he's, like, holding something sharp or anything that could spill just stay the hell away from him he i swear he's so dangerous he's actually not legally allowed to hold anything sharper than a hard-boiled egg <laughs> I don't know, most people don't know that anything sharper than a whole what's less sharp than a hard-boiled egg <laughs> like <Exactly>. bubbles <laughs> like literally soap bubbles <laughs> <laughs> he's right. had some incidents so we're going to get Wraith versus Higgs Bison up here next. Okay, the run back of the run back of the run back. So four max has to go Whoa. or something like that. <laughs> Wraith lost to Higgs Bison. Then the last max out, they got the run back and Wraith won. So this is the tiebreaker in the set. Wait, wait, did you call set. Wraith instead? That's the mix up. All right. You're up. Never mind. That'll be the match after this. All right, we were just kidding about that. But that is the run back of the run back of the run back, so that's important to note. This right here, we're going to get Mike Webb and Axiom, it looks like. Yeah. Mike, Mike Webb, we saw him take out Cactus. Cac uh, no, that no. was Mason who played Cactus. Uh, he oh, he had a weird uh, a name that I couldn't John pronounce. No, was it? Oh, was it that guy? Yeah. Or is it John Sun? No, John no, Sun played, played Keith, Keith Kid. Kid. So the, and then this is going to be Axiom, who just recently took Blake Zahari. And put them in losers. Yeah, that's of course Endgamer. Endgamer 3K. 
And uh, when I was talking to Axie, Max, hey, shout out to Brett behind us. Oh, absolutely, yeah, Brett. There in the background again. He is just the reason why this all works out very well. Basically, every AJ month. Hurst and Brett and are the gods of Max. Out. Yeah, they really make like, it all happen. Like I mean, it's like you know what's 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 the monotheism? Like we have duotheism. Yeah. It's it's yeah. Brett. And, it, and it's AJ. It's just that simple. These two guys make it all happen every month. All the equipment you see, all the uh, the coordination from the staff, the you know having this room set up for us every month. Again, Brett and AJ. You just can't simply say not enough for these two guys for making this happen. And he goes. And Brett definitely goes. I mean, this is Brett's job, to be fair. But he goes so far above and beyond yeah, what he definitely. has to do that it. I mean, it's not even. You wouldn't know it's his job. You'd think it'd be his, you know, second hobby. But it's it's amazing to see these two guys work out so well. But because, but of course, uh, I was talking to Axiom there at the water cooler, and uh, he seemed pretty confident. So I would imagine so after playing uh, Blake and winning, that's a pretty big confidence boost. Oh, absolutely! I can't even do that. <laughs> well, not a lot of people can. I just got I get wrecked, wrecked, and more wrecked. I mean, he's been a top. Uh, top 90, top 100 finisher at Evo before. Yeah, you know, he's a yeah. strong player. Well, I beat Robbie. He's a top 127. If you didn't know. In case you didn't know. In case you didn't know, top 127. So, all right, here we go. There we go. Axiom using Axiom Evil Ryu. Using I don't. I don't like that. Evil Ryu. I don't like it. I, I wonder like if this is because of the Atlanta uh, matchup. I, it, it just doesn't make any sense. The same mini kick we're going to be focusing on, I imagine, as it's a really solid button. But I just don't like it. He doesn't have the he doesn't have the execution of all these other players, but he does have some fantastic footsies and reads, and that's what Ryu allows him to really allow him to do. He has a he has a clean slate, and he can apply those you know different attributes to different things. Yeah. And, you know, oh, no, no punish. Combo he went low, ball, airborne yep. move. Yep. Misses the combo off of it though. Mm, kind of what Mike Webb's famous for. He doesn't really hit any combos. Yeah. Like, I remember seeing him uh, take Eve Kid really deep into a set and uh, didn't really hit any combos in that set either. So, Elena's pretty reset heavy. Yep, like that right there. That's Good minus five, too. Axiom. Hmm. Okay, nope. that can't be what he wanted. Solid, solid combo there from Mike Webb. Ooh, that. Oh, nice. Chase down. That's minus five, or at least minus two there for the medium kick. Another reset here. Mike Webb still without a stock of ultra. And I think he will finish this game before he really gets one. Wow. So he closes yeah, out with I a just, light punch. Again, I just don't like Evil Ryu. He's not very familiar with the buttons. And uh, you know, he's not very familiar with the normals. And then you just see him just getting kind of wrecked. I mean, yeah. it's kind of simple. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't see him sticking with uh, Ryu. He really should—he really should just go with Ryu. You see cups to John's side. Our uh, Luxon in the background. Yeah, shout out to Luxon toing. Cups is uh, the regular commentator at my side. Today he decided he was gonna enter. The, he's a really strong Cody player. So that's what he is doing today. I, I don't know see, if he's. Yeah, I want to see how Cups is doing over there, giving Axiom advice, or Here. if he's just there for moral support. Now I see him whispering oh, a little something to Axiom. He, this is actually a, kind of a inside information. He plays the loser of this match. Oh. So I wonder if they know that though. I'm sure they have. No he idea. probably doesn't. I, I guarantee he doesn't. All right. I didn't see who Axiom picked. Hence why it's in, inside information. Is it Jury? No, surely not. Chun Li. Ryu, nice. I like it. This I'll, isn't Jury. It's I wish, Ryu. I wish it was Ryu from the start. Yeah, I agree with that. I love uh, Axiom's Ryu. Yep, I do too. One of the Ryu's that I modeled mine after. Uh, no, you modeled yours after Jehovah. I didn't even know who that was. Yeah, but you sure did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's nice. the DP. Love it. Wake up, DP. Yeah, you can just see how much more comfortable he is. The fact that he's actually uh, had any kind of advantage in this match so far. Oh, uh, yeah, this combo. is already just a big big improvement here from Axiom, as yeah. you said. Just being competitive in this round is a step up from where he was. And here's that. He's nothing that Ryu can do about that. He even did the X-Farbo, make sure he didn't go for the full heal. He's got to hold that, dude. Nice overhead. Those are chain cancelable, so he's got to hold it. Minus six, that's probably about the best punch he could have got. That's only two bars. 
Oh, nice focus at the perfect range. Perfect combo. And that's going to kill, right? No. Right? right? Oh, last hit. My man. Last hit. <laughs> last hit. Good stuff from Axiom. Absolutely. He's coming out strong with the first round of his Ryu. Man, these footsies. The width punish was pretty crazy. Nice. He's kind of realized that Mike Webb's not hitting his combos, so he's going to start challenging those with Shoryuken. Oh, minus five, no punish. That's really fast. You have to know it's coming. That's minus one, I believe, so nothing to really do about that. Wow. Oh, no, he tripped him. Nice block on the overhead. And no punish again. You have, you have nice. to win. punish. The, the opportunities that landing gives you to punish are so small that you have to take them. Kind of oppressive, big loopy jump in, too. Yeah. Nice cross up there. I like Regain that. corner control. Good throw. Oh my nice. god, Axiom Frame Special. Trap. The Axiom Special. And it's EX not going to kill, but it's going to oh, do a ton really of damage. Close. EXDP, nothing you can do about it. Yep. Really strong stuff, and Cup's getting fired Popping up. Popping off. Yeah, <laughs> he has no idea that he has to play the winner. <laughs> the loser of this. All right. So you see Axiom wagging his tongue, <laughs> looking very comfortable. Oh, Mike Webb switching. Uh-oh, are we seeing the Rufus? The Rubus? Are we seeing the Rubus? Who's uh, Rufus? Uh, do it. Do it. Is that oh, I is see it. No, maybe. Is it a troll? Is I it a troll? I see it. I, is it a troll? I don't know. What's Ultra the chance? Two? Ultra I'm, two? 40 percent chance it's a troll. 40 percent chance. 100 percent chance it's not a troll. 40 percent chance. Oh, never mind. How do you figure that. All right, he's going right back to Elena. So I have to assume that Elena is his main character at yeah. this point. Yeah. I always heard that he was a Rufus main, and then we've I've never seen him use Rufus. Ever. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like me and Seth when I did that transition, where it's like yeah, I was a Seth main this entire time, and it's like he keeps playing Akuma. I don't get it. Yeah. All right, so here we are, the final chance for one of these players to retain winner's bracket hood. Right? Oh, no punish. Is that safe from that range, I would assume? I, I would imagine. Hard read. Perfect punish there from Mike Webb. Probably about the best he could have got. Yeah, Elena can't get really big punishes, which probably is not going to do much for Axiom as far as training. Good oh, reset. Nice. Reset into throw. Axiom's really not going to be put off if that's the punish that he gets every time he whiffs a hard DP. Yeah. And sure. it, Elena can do standing uh, fierce, but she does this weird step kick s animation, like that Sagat has, like the high step kick. So it only hits standing opponents. Okay. So I mean, it's usable. It does a hundred damage, but it's super hard to use, and it's it's super character specific. So I mean, it's something it very, only Elena mains for many many months with them. Nice foot is there from Axiom. No punish. Can't punish it. Yeah, unfortunately dashed backwards as soon as it came out. Which allowed him to avoid getting hit, but now also negated any punish attempt. Now we're seeing Mike Webb using full combos now, which is amazing. Also, you see that back hard kick. It's completely airborne. You see him, the little ink animation. It's really good. It's completely airborne, and on counter, you can get combos after it. So it's kind of like a Buki's uh, forward roundhouse. It's actually pretty similar. No, that's oh, death. no. That's death. No, that's not, but it's going to be uh, it's should be it. No, I think, yeah, okay. I was going to say Ryu would have a chance to come back here. Strong stuff from Mike Webb. Yep. So Cups is gonna be playing Axiom in the in that match, it seems like. Shout out to Lux back there with the popcorn. Lord Cupsington is his name officially for today. Is that right? I'm assuming that's I'm assuming that's Luxon. Isn't Rachel here selling cookies? She is sweet dreams here is, is sweet here ideas. today. Sweet ideas. Yes, absolutely sweet ideas. Sweet ideas here today selling cookies. Of course, uh, she is uh, Selling some nice designs, such as the Evo T-shirt logo, a Hadouken, and also uh, there's one more I'm missing. Oh, Max Out has a Max Out logo. There's one more as well. I don't remember what. On the sure. cookies? On the cookies? Yeah. What? Dude, she's crazy, dude. She's no, a, I've seen her work. She, she does a really yeah, good job. Yeah, she's crazy. And of course, she's selling them for two to three dollars, depending on which size you purchase. I saw Mason eating one earlier. They look pretty darn nice. And if you would like to pick one up, they're here at Max Out. Uh, Yet another reason to show up. Lo located here. Uh, Right next to the smash setups, so I mean, so when you walk through the smash setups, at least you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. That being <laughs> sweet ideas, <laughs> but uh, yeah, absolutely, uh, very cool for her to come out here tonight. Yeah, I've seen pictures on Facebook. That's the closest I've been to. Yeah, I know. Actually, experiencing the cookies. I would say, like, you're cheering on the guy you're gonna be playing most. Like, yeah, I know, I know. I like it's some some inside information. Cups doesn't know this, but. 
Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he said pickle chicken versus somebody. I don't know who that's going to be. I saw Gave Kid hugging Ooh. around the chair. I was like, no way they're playing. Yeah, again. playing again. But but it looks like it's going to be playing against Charlie. Of course, Charlie been uh, on quite the streak. He's been. On, is this his third time on stream? No, like. No, it, it was, was casuals. Oh, casuals, Robbie. then a match, then this. Okay. Yep. You right? Hey, Cubs. Hi, Cubs. Good luck in your match. The elusive non-commentator. Yep. Cubs. Make sure my tie looks nice. Look at that. Bam. I'm the best. I, I see uh, Geef Kid talking to Pickle Chicken. Yep. I feel like all day Pickle Chicken has had people talking in his ear. Words that he didn't <laughs> care to listen to. You yep. know what I mean? Yeah, there you see Pickle Chicken, and there you see Charlie. Charlie. Put it right over his face. Hold that forever. <laughs> hold this purple banner in your eyes. And Tyler behind. Probably gazing right into that camera, wondering, is that pointed at me right now? Probably is. And there you see Malcolm, and Malcolm over there. Hey, Malcolm. With a pillow? Hey. Yeah, with the pillow. You not getting enough sleep last night? <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, he uses the pillow for packing, packing purposes. Another handshake. Ooh, full screen handshake. But you see Pickle Chicken being the nice one. And getting up. Getting yeah. up for Charlie there again. Uh, After he came all the way from Wichita, and he still to, gets he up. He has to walk another seven feet. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. Our Kansas Cityans are just terrible. We're so oh, mean. But actually, seriously here, though. Uh, I definitely would think that this is going to be actually in favor of Pickle Chicken only because I don't think Charlie's ever played against a Honda. <laughs> really? Because nobody plays Honda. That's true. But the issue is I think the matchup is in highly in Charlie's favor because, I mean, once the con gets in, what's Honda supposed to do? But I don't know. I'm just talking my butt. I don't know any of these characters. I'm not going to lie. But those are my... Those are my predictions. Do if you I think that Charlie can punish EX Headbutt with slide? With, with EX Oil Slide? Let's see. <laughs> Hakan, let's see. How fast do you think EX Oil Slide is, ladies and gentlemen? If you guessed 14 frames, Whoa. then you'd be correct. All right, so so no. It, no. Yeah. But it's, some of them is. You may try it anyway, though. It's nine frames in the Light Punch one, so at least you can apply pressure. But. Yeah, unless he charges another EX headbutt. But now you see Pickle Chicken pre being pretty mobile, but I don't think he's going to know about that uh, t uh, crouching frame cancel. True. That's going to be an so issue. So, yeah, it kind of works both ways. It's probably a matchup that both are unfamiliar with. Nice use of the Oichi throw. I like that butt spot to get himself in the corner, but it's going to be punished instantly. Yeah, he kind of got reset there. Yep. Probably wasn't looking for that. Oh, oh. nice combo. The Good stand conversion. Fierce. Always comboable into a low jab on hit. It is. I don't know. I thought I'd be counted it only. But you're right, because you know a lot more about Honda. For some reason, I know that about Honda. I don't know. But, yeah, so anyway, uh, strong showing. Very rapid first round. Yeah, that's def that's definitely a good, good observation. Rapid is a good way to putting it. Both of these guys just kind of going at it. It's nice. a brawl. Reset. You can hear Charlie's buttons only from here, so I'm assuming Pickle Chicken hears Also, as well. before this match, Charlie was like, woo! Yeah. And he's clapping and... He's got a PBR in front of him. He's feeling good. <laughs> that's the same second, exact reset that's again. That's the second. You see him actually giving the yeah. full fist pump, a clap. Still clapping. Dude, he, he, is, he is putting on a show while he's playing. Like, yeah, how, how could you beat him as he plays like this with such confidence? Okay, so he didn't even go for the oil slide. So maybe wow. it's something he knows. Dude, and was Charlie, that stand strong? Chain light punch, jump light punch. He is just putting on a show, though, I might add. Of course, uh, Charlie. All right, so I don't really think. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely hilarious. That's awesome. That is absolutely hilarious. Geef Kid trying to coach Pickle Chicken, and uh, Charlie just told him to shut up. He so. just yelled it several times. But uh, lots of punish. Okay. Four meter punch. There you go. Nice. That was it. That makes sense. And of course, now that it goes like 14 millimeters away. Well, that was a dry headbutt, too. So. Yeah, but even the X one goes like. Nice. Wow. Neutral jump. Oh my god. E Honda stop sign, one of the best neutral jump options in the game. Air However, throw still beats it. <laughs> yeah. Air throw is still gonna body that every day. Man, this is a crazy round. Oh, what's the Oisho? What's he aiming at there? Very risky. Now he has to get out of the corner Whoa, somehow. That was dirty. That's one way. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Oh my god. See that non counter hit. That's gonna be a Okay, you can combo. I can hold that forever. Although I admitted you were right. I can no, still yeah, hold that you know. forever. You know, I can hold that. Well, so can Dr. Richard Steele, MD. Yeah, dude. That yeah. round is gone. 
And this is Pickle Chicken's game to lose now. Yeah, and there you see him not punishing that SPD at all. Caught him not with a really good, uh, he doesn't have any good crouching cancels. He just has crouching light punch and that's it, so it's really hard. Low forward. Cancels. Yeah, but he doesn't get any damage off of it. Unless you do EX. Oh, wow, what a read. Oh wow. my god, what a read. What a read. I thought, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> well, he showed me. Oh, oh that was interesting. Yeah. Oh. Of course, it hits people on the way up as well as the way down, oh, if you yeah. didn't know. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, good. Owen Wilson, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's it. Nice reset there. No, Ding. He's not dead. Oh, he's, he's come not on. Dead. He was within four health. You have no, you you have no idea me. how this game works. <laughs> you can't tell me. <laughs> I knew. I'm <laughs> Within four health, you knew. All right. Of a, a Khan's oiled SPD of a varying dude, strength. I don't know what Honda. to tell you. <laughs> I knew, dog. Uh, uh, dude, you're the best. You're literally the best. Nice. It, was, it looked like a jump there, Pepperoni. If not, it was a headbutt. That's or basically head the same reset he's been doing. He just literally added one normal extra. End. It was low short SPD. Now it's low short, low jab SPD. And now it's just so it's a whole new thing. Yeah, completely commanding here from Charlie. So oh my far, God, this is again crazy. with the neutral jump. Oh my God, that's it. That's SPD. It. I, I can that's hear it. the EX headbutts. That's it. Perfect. Being inputted, being input, being put in. Hakan wins. Perfect. Is perfect. That perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. Wow, it was. Yeah. Wow. He, he, he focused something, and so it didn't count as actual damage. Doesn't he always? Yeah. The Perry Master. The Perry Master. Hakan wins. Perfect. Chris Cunningham is a lot better at perfect than I do. What a skill, right? I know, right? He can have. copy the Street Fighter 2 announcer being blue. Like, they were like, I imagine, like, he was, like, drunk, and then they were like, hey, guys, this game ships tomorrow. It's shipping tomorrow. We need to have a perfect voice actor and he's like guys I, I i guess i could do it and then they're like get, get over it. no 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 the, the, the guy the guy whoever it was at the time uh, you know okay. back in 1993 or whatever this was two 1992 yeah so they, they're like hey dude you know can you get in there and he's drunk again they bring him in there they throw him in the booth he's laying on the ground he's like say perfect dude and he's like wow cody just beat axiom wow. and he popped off Ooh. and i figured he lost Ooh. but oh Axiom gave him a hug. This oh. is what I am currently reporting live. Their, their cups is. You can see that he's fired up. He, he is popping off. He is popping off. He got up and he pumped his fist and he said a curse word. And I was like, oh, poor cups. That's it for him, right? And then he's like, nope, poor Axiom. He is actually eliminated, losing to Mike Webb and cups. Cups is going to move on in loser's bracket Wow! to That's play crazy. God knows who. I mean, it's got to be a shark take at this point. Give kids down there. Now let's see. Blake's down there. We have a bracket over here. Pickle chicken's down there as well. Man, loser's bracket actually sounds just as scary as winner's see bracket. Uh, remaining. Oh, it looks like we have. Uh, my girlfriend says that it's. Okay, we have Charlie. We have uh, Mike Webb and winner. So we have Mike Webb facing the winner of Wraith and Higgs Bison. Wraith and Higgs Bison face off, and Mike Webb plays the winner of that, and then Mike Webb and and the winner of that would play Charlie. So right, Charlie is the farthest. That was too much information. So what, that, just, no, hold on. Just let me tell somewhere. you. Hold on. Wait. Yeah. Shh, just one second. I'm gonna teach you a little something about commentary. Okay. Sure. Brevity. Yeah. But they're what, just they're just listening. They're not writing this down. But what I was about to say was, in short, <laughs> Charlie is the furthest one in the winners bracket right now. Okay. That was the very next sentence. Yeah. He, he may be the, he may the be the furthest in the winners bracket, but he's just right here. Yeah. I am. He's just right he's here. So he's just a man. He's just a simple man. <laughs> Yo. Yo, we got the gif of uh, Axiom there. How old is that? Old at, yeah, that MDP. Was, that was the old haircut. That was the old haircut. And he was labeled as get there one time, and I haven't seen Nick commentate but one time since we've moved. None, one time. One time, Why one time. What? I don't know. Wanted to just, I've been competing for like 20 weekends in a row or something, so I just wanted to chill. We're actually going to run a couple more movie trailers for you guys. Oh. We have a break before our next stream match. Sure. Great, this is tied up in Project M at the moment. It's Thanks for sticking around, around guys. Half hour. So, uh, hey, this is why you should come check out Alamo Draft House. Check this out. From whatever you need to whatever you can imagine, the Alamo Private and Community Events Team can bring your presentation, birthday, meeting, team building, girls' night, fundraiser, alumni event, film premiere, to life. From this, to this, from this, to this, or this, to this. 
featuring state-of-the-art audiovisual equipment, full-service catering by award-winning chefs, signature Alamo programming customizable for your event, interactive action-packed shows and parties, discounts for schools and nonprofits, personalized event planner services, the best servers and event hosts in Austin, and what else? Private movie nights, karaoke, scavenger hunts, team trivia, sing-alongs, quote-along, feasts, and so much more. Ask for details at the box office or visit us online at drafthouse.com slash venue rental. Whatever you need to whatever you can imagine, the Alamo Private and Community Events Team can bring your presentation, birthday, meeting, team building, girls night, fundraiser, alumni event, film premiere, to life. From this, to this, from this, to this, or this, to this. Featuring state-of-the-art audiovisual equipment, full-service catering by award-winning chefs, Signature Alamo programming customizable for your event. Interactive action pack. I didn't think. Hey, well, hey guys, welcome back to the stream. Uh, off stream, we just had uh, this should be Robbie V versus Geef Kid in theory. Oh shit, I didn't even know we were back live again. Here we go. Yeah, but instead, Robbie V was eliminated off of stream by Greybush. So Greybush has now taken out, uh, didn't he take out Jamar a couple months ago? Yeah. And then Endgamer, I might add. And then Endgamer. And then now Robbie V. He is, do you see the vape out of the nostrils there? <laughs> bang, bang. Bang, bang. Look at this guy. Does he look like he cares? He looks like Hell he cares. No. But is he going to win? Who knows? He's literally a total mystery. Yeah, it's literally like total mystery, man. Wow, that is crazy. And his Fadokan shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's Fodokin. Fodokin! Shouts to Fa. Looks Shouts like to Vietnam Cafe. Some, some casuals in on the monitors now. Shouts to 39 and Cam Shouts to the uh, Vietnam Cafe and 39th and Campbell. That place is amazing. It's 39th and Campbell? Or not 39th, I just. Like 5th and Campbell. Yeah, right? I was gonna say it's, it's 3rd and Campbell. 39th Street is yeah, yeah. where the mall is. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, alright. So we're back from outer space. Greybush versus TGL's Geef Kid. TGL. What does that mean? Truman Gaming League, dude. Okay. Yeah, man. I, I'd, I'd, I'd plug him, dude. I'd plug him. Yeah. Of course, uh, he goes to Truman Truman uh, University. I guess that's the right way to put it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I want to say Truman High School really bad, but that's not yeah. obviously where he's oh, from. That's near where I live. Even that's though that's actually, he's about the same age I am, I think. 
Yeah, I, he's Being a freshman in college. Aren't you a freshman? No, I'm a, I'm a sophomore. Oh, all right, never mind. All right, Greybush going to the Guile pick. This is a fantastic matchup for Guile. Yeah, it's really good. Although, I will say, Greybush doesn't... <laughs> How would you get that. hit with that? How he just got hit by that? And Dan's laughing. Dan, yeah, Dan doesn't okay. care. That's the best thing about him, though. He doesn't care, and that's why he he's just, so dangerous. Yeah, he's so dangerous. Like he can get hit by like three SPDs in a row, and then he's like, whatever, dude. Yeah. Actually, looking pretty good in this round. What I was gonna say about his character pool is that he doesn't play anyone who loses to Zangief. Yeah. He plays Goken, <laughs> Goken Chun Li, and, and Guile. And Guile. Yeah. This is the this is the <laughs> this is the anti Zangief player. Wow. This guy is crazy. Oh, no, you can't anti with that. You got to do crouch. Oh, wow. wow. Just do it. What a read. Just do, do it, it again. Would have worked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Dan, full screen, not one caring One now. more anti here. One more anti here. We're to do it. Yeah, he could just ultra, actually. What? Oh, no. He should just, just ultra. Looks just like he's kind of trying to fake him out with full screen overheads. I don't know why he keeps doing overhead. I mean, maybe he's just failing at Sonic. Oh, cool. Maybe he's just failing at Sonic Boom. Of course, uh, again, oh, Great Bush no. not a not a huge execution heavy player, but I mean, I mean he's he, got some He makes stuff. it work. He makes it work, yeah. dude. All right, you can't let this happen to But many again, times. he doesn't care. He doesn't care, dude. See? Yeah. He doesn't care. See, I would have gone for the back dash. He went for the other option that would be the SPD. One of the other options, I guess. Oh That's no, you don't want to go for throw there. That's how you get counter hit and rocked. Rocked. We've already seen Give Kid Tickle chicken. Yeah, yeah tickle chicken in body by the he counter hit. Whatever that was. Yeah, it was a throw tech. Counter hit a throw tech for a crumple. And then also hit another throw tech. Didn't crumple, but he still got damage. You're basically letting him get a reward for making the wrong read. I think Goken's a lot better choice here because his because his EX Tatsu beats all of Geef's options in the air. Yeah. It has a huge hitbox. It's invincible like none other. But the issue with it and is it that it costs... Yeah, it does 200 damage. Yeah, it 200 damage. And it puts him full screen away from you, too. Yep. The only issue, it costs a bar. And also, it's only like zero. It's like negative five on hit, though. Because like after you get up... Both you actually get up, you actually recover usually slower than the opponent. Yeah. So like if you're in the corner, you you actually can get punished for doing ex tatsu. Clear. So yeah. unfortunate. Oh man, anything you got not yeah. too predictable. Nice. Okay. Yeah, he kind of made the right read, but wasn't ready to act on it once he landed. Wow. It's gonna be a round for Geef Kid if he doesn't if Great Bush doesn't figure out what's yeah, going on. Dizzy. That's it. Yeah, this is Geef. Oh, nice oh no, he messed up trying to... Oh, this to is actually a chance for Goken to actually yeah. come back. The Goken is like the character to come back on this. Wow. Same, he can just whiff him because Zingy hunches over as the SPDs. Yeah, I would be careful trying to play footsies. Honestly, one stand roundhouse is probably going to put Go Goken in the ground. Yeah, this, the counter stand medium kick was almost enough. Stand medium kick has such poor frame advantage that you can't even combo off of it on counter hit. What? Keys? Yeah, the far one. Yeah, well, I mean, the far one's eight frames. All right, so Greybush supporters in the audience yep. telling him, you got this. But what he just got was wrecked by an EX screen hand. Oh, my God. He's nice mix-up. Mix he yeah. actually didn't uh, get the combo due to the low hit stun on the jump short. Nice carry. But he did it super late regardless. I still think it just didn't have enough. Ooh, there's that 200 damage. Should have done uh, Crouch Fierce there as a reset. Wow. Standing on house. Nice. He got both hits of the EX green hand that's there. That's it. And that's it. Geef Kid's going to move on. That was on. fast. That was very fast. <laughs> Dan laughing. And Dan's the, Dan the Truman guys that came with Geef Kid also laughing. Yeah, Dan doesn't care, though. Again, that's his best and worst weakness. Uh, or be his best strength and his worst weakness. Because he can get... He doesn't care what kind of player you are. I mean, you're, you're Geef Kid or you're Joe Blow number 38. He'll play you exactly the same. Joe Blow number 38? Number 38, dude. There are that many Joe Blows? There's a ton of Joe Blows, dude. Interesting. I'm learning something new here every day. Shut Oaken. Shut Oaken. Shut Oaken. Shh, good Oaken. We're talking about Goken's fireball, right? Oh, I was, I was, I was saying Sakura's uh, DP. Uh oh. Shut Oaken. Shut Oaken. It's just Shut Oaken. Shut Oaken, yeah. That's what I said. Uh oh. Shut Oaken. And then any of Sok any of Goku's like Shodokan! Shodokan! Well, it's actually like Shou U O Ken. Shou U O Ken. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have to say my mouth. Great pronunciation. Shou Ken. Alrighty, so here's what we have coming up afterneath the 
<laughs> is that a word? U.S. No, I don't know. After knee. After Ultra, we're gonna have the Mortal Kombat 10 tournament. Does anybody call it Mortal Kombat 10? I call it Mortal Kombat 10 sometimes. So yeah, the MKX tournament is going to be after this. That should be pretty good. We have a lot of guys in the city who practice the hell out of NRS games. Yeah, I always say I either say MKX or Mortal Kombat 10 usually. Guilty <laughs> Gear following that, our resident anime game. Well, unless I guess you count Skullgirls as technically an anime game, kind of. And that's going to happen at 7.30. And then the TTT 2... Finals at 8.30. Shout-outs yep. to Vic, his uh, farewell max out. Also, shout-outs to Axiom because, let's be honest, the uh, Tekken doesn't happen here without Axiom. Absolutely. And also, uh, I might add that, I wonder why Windows 10 did not use Windows X, seeing as it's OS X, you know, OS 10 for Mac. That would been really cool if it was Windows X, just to kind of give a little nod to their competitors. Seeing as they're doing the exact same business model as Mac has been doing for the past couple of years, where you get the new upgrade for free as long as you have a uh, current a current gen, yeah. either Windows 7 or Windows 8 upgrade. I mean, it's very similar. You should pitch the idea to them. I think that I think I think their marketing department probably has millions and millions of dollars just to figure out, guys. Okay, do we call it Windows 10 or Windows millions X? and millions of dollars? They probably actually do. They're, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, dude. I mean, if you consider the wages of like. A solid 15 people for the for six months. That's it's millions of dollars. You think it took six months for them to name it, though? Probably. Why do you think they always have weird names like 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 the Connect was originally called Project Natal? That's scary. That sounds like a Russian bad guy. <laughs> Natal. In an 80s movie. My name is Natal. And I'll take you out very very quickly. Yeah, I don't know what's going on stream, guys. It looks like we have Mike Webb and Wraith coming up. Yeah, I wondered if Wraith was still in it because it looked like he was just playing casuals a second ago. I didn't realize I might come out of the America stick. As you see, it's one red side and one blue side. It's the MLG stick. Oh, really? Yeah. So I think it came with those side panels. What's, it, what's the MLG stick? It just looks like MLG. Yeah, why is it MLG, though? Will you show him your, the R on your stick? Show him the R on your stick. Oh, that's really cool. That's it's really cool. cool. It's cool. It's cool. I was like, it's Captain America stick. Right. You'll notice how I took my <laughs> headset off to yell at him, though. Or you can do this. <laughs> no, the mic's too good, dude. It still picks you up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The mics are as good as Wraith versus Webb is going to be. Woo! It's going to be fan diddly test. The, yeah, these two players, very strong players. Of course, Wraith repping that Ibuki and that Yun. And uh, Evil Ryu and lately. And Evil Ryu. Why so not? So he may even use Evil Ryu. I, wouldn't, I don't see why people like using Evil Ryu against uh, Elena. I just don't like it. I don't, know, I don't see why you'd want to play, play Ibuki. I don't <laughs> understand why you even want to play Elena in the first place. Yeah, Elena just seems too boring. But I don't know. Winning's probably pretty cool. And Mike Webb seems to do a lot of that. He does seem to do a lot of that. Yun is going to be picked here from uh, Yun, or from uh, Wraith. Wraith and Yun are pretty much interchangeable, yeah. I might add. But... Uh, or the only thing is about Elena, she has some fantastic anti-airs. She has, I'll go through them real quick for all you at home that don't know all the answers that Elena has. She has a ton. Standing light punch, medium punch, and hard punch, all anti-air for varying speeds and damages. Then you have standing medium kick as a low hitting, low pro anti-air. And also you have a... Uh, uh, standing has, light kick? I, yeah, standing light kick is her. No, standing light kick goes outward. I appreciate sure all of them, and d including her four frame invincible DP and three frame DP, but you know, besides all those, she has no answers. Nice damage there from Mike Webb. Setting a good president. Ray's kind of looking like uh, he's struggling to get inside, but again, Mike Webb missing a combo. No punish on that. Yeah, that's an option slide to look like. Wow, wow look at this aggression here from Ray out of the air. And he gets no advantage on those dive kicks. That seems to be the issue. Nice. Okay, just using his frame advantage there, knowing that the move wouldn't be punishable. Good block there from Mike Webb. No pun or no combo. Yep, you gotta expect that. Nice. Okay, the activation is gonna be about even on life. What an answer from Wraith. That was Wraith. perfect, because Mike Webb was able to block, but he was so scared of getting hit that right. he blocked, and then Wraith just blocked up command grab. And a uh, pretty solid combo there from Wraith. 
really smart to do the dash punch. Yep. Due to Elena's strange hitbox, I wouldn't put it past her to completely fall out. Evol uh, avoid the uh, upper upper kicks. Yep. Up kicks. No stroke Yaku, I think is what you, it's called. You, you could do uh, heavy kick up kicks on her pretty consistently on, okay. on standing or crouching, but. So yeah, I, I think Wraith is probably not going to chance that. I know he does kind of the same thing when he plays against Full Bleeds Blanca. Yeah. Kind of a comparable hitbox, both very low to the ground. Both very bad hitboxes. Oh no, no confirm off the dive kick. Yeah, he's going for the double dive kick regardless. And wow. Wow. Well, never no mind. Man, he had the read there too. And no punish there from Mike Webb. Yeah, that's it's actually really smart pokes. From yeah, Elena. As soon as he lands, just kind of poke at him with that wow. little jab. That didn't look like a throw, actually. That didn't look like a throw at all. And then all of a sudden, he just gets thrown across the screen. That's because Elena does everything with her feet, man. It's super awkward. It's really hard to tell what's going on. There we go. Well, she just grabbed him with her hand real quick. Yeah, see, she grabbed him with her hands. I don't know, man. When she actually throws you, she does with her feet. But whenever she texts, she does it with her hands. Fun fact. Well, those are the rules. All right, no combo. But yeah. also no punishable ender that Wraith threw out there. So really smart stuff again from him. That's comboable. That's very yep. advantageous. Yep. Just wasn't expecting the end to Perfect hit. Perfect combo There's there. that combo that he needed. Yeah, again. Oh, there you go. Goes for the big links. He hit the hard part. Well, hard part number one. The only issue with, uh, about I don't know, Mike Webb here is that he can do focus attack, and she kind of rocks back when she does it. And when she rocks forward again, she's advantageous. So as long as he can react with focus attack, Young can't get any dive kick pressure. Nice. Mike Webb reading the reset, probably actually looking for the attention grab. But uh, regardless, evaded the tech from Wraith. Nice block there from Wraith into a combo. Good DP bait, but no punish. You should always neutral jump to bait or DP. Heavy punch, dash punch. Oh, okay. Nice bait He's there dead. from Mike Webb. He's dead. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he could have finished it out, but who makes that confirm on the low strong? I mean, that's really tough to do. So Wraith looking a little stressed. Needs to tap into the power of that headband. I don't think we're going to see a Buki just kind of because of the weird, uh, strange hitbox that Elena has. Yeah, I'll but probably stick with Yoon. A Buki's combos are really easy. But just in terms of, uh, uh, cool. He, he, uh, he, he uh, abbreviated my name is FT. That's actually really cool. <laughs> it's a uh, Fokra. Fokra. Yeah, yeah, not it's Axiom. Not Axiom. I, Everybody I, else you had correct. Yeah, I eliminated Axiom and then, or I put him in the losers and Wraith then eliminated him. Oh no, she should have held on to that focus. Would have been good for big damage. Or as big of damage as Elena can do anyhow. Nice combo there from Wraith. Yeah, that's not minus, so it's just, just simply block. you have to block it. Pretty strong start here from Wraith. Don't want to get knocked down too many times though, because that just kind of invites that full stock ultra to get popped. Nice, that's the Senpu Kyaku. Gotta stay block. in heavy punch, dash punch range this entire time. It's important. See, that was ultra. Yeah, see, he's not in heavy punch, dash punch range. Got. Nice combo. Or at least the start of a combo. Yeah, you gotta stay in heavy punch, dash punch range the entire time, otherwise that's gonna happen. And now we see even life for both these players. No more stocks of Ultra for Elena, though. I don't think there's really a distinct possibility she'll get another Ultra gauge here. Oh, with all the focusing she's done on dive kicks, it's very powerful. Oh, no. The, Just the like combo. that. He Mike should, Webb now on match point. Yep, should have stayed in that heavy punch dash punch range, and that literally cost him the game, or the round, excuse me. And now he has a full super bar, though. That's going to be pretty big. Trying to get that right focus combo. Wow. Wow. Hold that. Hey, he's used nice two of his bars there. now, but he almost has the third one. Uh, kind of an, uh, a hidden strength of Wraith. I think he has really good reads. Uh, he doesn't always have to use them because he has so many setups and stuff like I that. I agree, for sure. His reads are very strong. He used to be a lot more read heavy, but now he plays a lot more safe. And that looked like an EX tension that got stabbed right there. Yep. You like the EX dash punch? Oh, that completely whiffed Mallet Smash. 
surely punishable, but Wraith is not looking for that kind of thing. He can punish this. If he goes for the full one, yeah, nope, he didn't. Yep. I don't think anybody ever goes for the full one, right? It, uh, Red focus. Uh, I didn't get and full the ultra. ultra wouldn't have killed, I don't think. And yeah, he he's, pr he's probably looking to do the Ultra after maybe like an EX up kicks. That was minus six. The, 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 the spin kicks are minus six. But what he should have done there instead of heavy punched... Almost anything would have been better than heavy punch dash punch into uh, roll into into heavy punch or excuse me, heavy shoulder into heavy dash punch. What you should have done is either do double dash into medium dash or medium shoulder heavy dash punch. That is 25 more damage. Or you could do palm into crouching jab reset. Or you could do palm exdp dash punch. I mean, there's so many different options to do more damage than that and leave you in a better position. Or just simply doing ultra light punch shoulder heavy dash punch would have done considerably more damage. I mean, there's no... Yeah, that's true. Anything would have done more damage than that. One of the many advantages of the EX focus, the red focus cancel, because it leaves the opponent standing, so when you do the ultra, you get the dash punch juggle after it still. Yep. So that's a really good point. Could have well, not it. even the dash punch juggle, the shoulder, then the dash punch. Yeah, in the corner, yeah. Yeah. All right, so it looks like uh, Mike Webb's going to take a second and get a drink of water. Yep. And I'm not sure who we're going to have next. Oh, that was Wraith. Wraith just got put in losers. Oh, it looks like Higgs Bison and Cups are playing right now off stream. Okay. I can't actually see And Cody just won a round. Game. Cody just won a game. Okay. Of some sort. So that means Cups is up one or tied one one. Oh, and John is standing behind him, probably telling him about Bison stuff. Yeah. So John, of course, the resident Bison yeah, player. Cups of the, has uh, a little secret weapon there on George. John's son. All right. I like I, could, I, could, I, could, I could tell what what's going on exactly, even though I could barely see what's happening. Like this is how you know you spent too many hours in yeah. this game. All right, Cups dropping a combo. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I jumped in, he hit the hard kick, but he got a reset into throw. Because George just wasn't looking for it. Oh, wow. George gets a scissor kick combo, pushes him back full screen. This is like baseball commentary right now. R Ruffian. Oh, you oh yeah, crush, the EX Psycho Crusher zipping through there. Another <laughs> throw, back throw. Oh, it's for the safe up. jump. Yep. Safe jump hits. Got hit right Do on the head. Doesn't with get it. a combo, though. George wasn't standing up. Get the hell out of the way, swim dude. <laughs> Jeremy, move. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bison, uh, Bison took, a round. took a round. I don't know if he's on match point or not. And now race in the way. Jesus. Jesus It's Wraith. like they don't want us to see that. I still see it though. You excited pressure them. and wake up. Oh, yeah, suck Cody. sand. FADC into yeah. medium ruffian. Mm. Oh, now John's in the way. Cody now has uh, corner pressure. Now they're back mid screen. <laughs> Bison slides out. I can't see the screen. This is so frustrating. Okay. And then I see scissor kick pressure coming out from Bison. Okay, heavy ruffian. Back mid screen. Another heavy ruffian. Oh, uh, Bison scissor kicks out of the corner. Another ruffian. I would imagine he's in trip range now. Uh, that was EX head stomp. Well, the fake head stomp. And then it got back medium Cody's punch. Beat, yeah, Cody's beat it. So Cody took a round. So this is at least match put, match point for Cups. Maybe maybe possibly uh, George as well. Takes Bison. Okay, playing footsies. Cody focuses Ooh, for a full, full combo. Full combo on the uh, scissor kicks from Bison. Gets a forward throw. Oh, doesn't punish Gets met in the stomp. air yeah. on the trades on the stomp. EX criminal upper throw tech. Good block there from Cops. Good blocking. Oh, slides underneath. Just. Oh my God! Everyone is getting yeah, in, in the way. way. Yeah, this is a this is a grudge right, match I here. Can, I can see that Bison barely has any health left. Oh. Criminal nope. upper. And so you see Geef Kid versus Wraith. All right, Cups takes it yeah. over George off stream. Yep. And now we see Wraith versus Geef Kid. Wraith been training up his evil Ryu the past month. Solid month he's been training up this character. And now he's going to be using it on the exact player he wanted to use it against. Geef Kid versus Wraith using his evil Ryu. Oh, no, that has to be DP right there. Yeah, you're just better off using Standing Roundhouse at that range. Standing Roundhouse is your best here. Oh, no, you do not want to whiff something like Axe Kick at that range. The smart range to throw wow. fireballs, though, to where the EX uh, green hand only hits once. A really really important tool. Good punish. The low forward into fireball being a true box ring. Yep. That's that's two reasons. Wow, that's nice. perfect. Yeah, he caught the back dash. That's two. That's two reasons why Geef is so good against or Eve is so good against Geef is his standing roundhouse anti-airs really well, and also it's a good poke. 
That's a really good idea, and also that his low forward reaches farther, and also is uh, a true box in the, in the fireball. Both those make it a lot better than Akuma, Ryu, or Ken. Again, no DP. DP. Uh, Should have done DP, but that works. Maybe wanted to keep him further away. Yep. I guess that makes sense. Good There's DP. the Dragon Punch we need to see. And you see Ultra 1 from Zangief, so no uh, worry about that, you know, Ultra 2. Yeah, you two. don't have to use the EX uppercut. Absolutely. I uh, thought that was going to be a punish. Unfortunate wasted meter there. Nice counter pokes here from Geef Kid. Okay, little damage there from Wraith. He needs to be careful though. Really, oh. any SPD is going to kill him. That's it. That'll kill him too. Yep. This uses the EX focus attack just as actual damage instead of any kind of follow up. Yeah. Just enough to get it done. Yep. Alrighty, so game one to Geef Kid. Oh no, and Wraith going straight to character select. Are we going to see a Buki? I don't think a Buki versus Geef is that bad. But he has been training against so a either. specific character for That's this matchup. Really, any of his characters would make sense. I think his Yun is stronger than any of his other characters. I think uh, his Ibuki is very practiced in this matchup, and I think Evil Ryu has a good matchup in general against Zangief. So really, any of them would uh, make sense to me. It looked like he stayed with Evil Ryu, though I can barely see this. I would like to, I would like to see him go to Ibuki here, just because sticking to his guns is probably the better option instead of going with the character he barely knows. And it seemed like that was pretty obvious that he did not, that he did not know. Uh, you know what he was doing as much with Evil Ryu. I mean, he's a very solid player, but I mean, with that last match, he looked pretty dominant there for Geek Kid. All right, starting out with a good anti-air, getting some strong pokes in. Ooh, yeah, it's the first time he's punished an SPD from that range. Wow. He only missed punishes from that range earlier. Okay. Wow. Geek Kid building basically infinite meter, and he's gonna go right through any fireballs to get. <laughs> this is a joke. Yeah. He needs to punish those again. He yeah, just doesn't have it. He immediately gets baited. Geef Kid's plan worked to absolute perfection there. Yep. See, if he was playing Ibuki there, he can just do. He knows how he can just do Neckbreaker. Perfect punish. Nice neutral jump. That's not going to punish, though. Yep. You have to punish him on the way down. Perfect punish from Geef Kid. And that he did a lot of damage. He should have done, uh, I believe, with that much. Alrighty, so any EX green hand will kill Wraith. Even just the second hit will still kill him. Not really showing fear though. Playing yep. in a good footsies range. I wish the SPD it doesn't really matter for him. Wraith could certainly take in? this. No in? reason to jump in. Yeah, he jumped in at a where to hit Geef in a good place. But it's just so hard to safe jump the four frame lariat. Yeah. See, like there nice when he's counter poke. See what he should have done there for that ultra two, that ultra one punish. He's done a uh, neutral jump roundhouse into ultra two. That would have punished it. So he needs to know that for this upcoming round if he, you know, whiffs another SPD. Yeah. Ooh, cops versus Pickle Chicken. And there we go. That's big damage. One more mix up. We'll take the game. Wow. Just wow. It's a lot of standing still for a character with a two frame grab. But uh, I guess patience is key here. Uh, okay, Minimal punish. punish. Yeah, that was definitely meant to be dive kick. Didn't work out. He has a fireball almost once this entire game. Interesting. I don't think that was what Geef Kid meant to do. Yeah. But he has a lot of expendable health here, and any fireball could be death for Wraith. Yep. See, Geef Kid is buffering it. He needs to not do fireballs. Looks like he's kind of missing the input though. Ray's challenging that range. 80 damage, just like that. All right. That's it. Now Chip's going to do it. So, yep. yeah. He had to jump in. Jumping in seems like the reckless thing to do there, but it was kind of the smartest thing he could have done. All he had left. Yep. Yeah. You got to do jumping roundhouse into Ultra 2. Oh, my God. Take your headset off to yell to players, please. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah, I mean, Wraith has been training up, but... I will say this, Frankster, I don't know who you are, but Wraith would beat you at Street Fighter. So yeah. kind of be careful what you say, because this is KCS Arcade's chat. Yeah. I know it's it's funny to make fun of Wraith, but uh, he's a really strong player, and he puts a lot of work in, so... Yeah, he's been going to those Tuesday hookups, those Thursday hookups. He's been there. He's been there for sure. Only thing is that Evil Ryu, you know, really... really uh, Really a hard character to put your head around. He really is. I mean, he's really simple. Uh, my feeling win, uh, Jeremy. But 
it's just that Evil Ryu's combo is really hard. His entire game is really hard, actually. I mean, on a basic level, it's just him walking back and forth with low forward, but whenever that gets beat because it's seven frames is a huge whiff punish window, yeah. then you realize that the character's a lot harder than, you know, what you would think. So next up, we're going to have Charlie and Mike Webb. Yeah. And it's first to three, and Charlie knows that. <laughs> first to three? Oh, yeah. All right, so this is our winner's finals. Absolutely. There you see Charlie there on main screen. You see him, Dr. Richard Steele, of course. And there you see Mike Webb in a little darker webcam. Again, he's kind of got his back towards the sun, so that's kind of... Yeah, this yeah, is winner's finals. it's like night and day. It's kind of funny. Yeah, this is winner's finals. That yeah, Charlie looks like he's in the dark, and then, and then Mike Webb looks like he's like bright day. <laughs> Rubbing his nipples is uh, Charlie right now. Uh, that's the kind of stimulation he needs before a big match like this. <laughs> I think at the minus five mallet smash is going to be a lot bigger issue because uh, you know he is used. Uh, Charlie is used to uh, punishing minus barely anything normals with, uh, you know, or moves with his SPD. So I think that minus five mount smash would, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot, it's going to be a lot uh, better punished with uh, Dr. Rich Steele than your usual player. Especially like you saw Axiom earlier, he didn't punish it practically at all, or when he did his jab, jab, missed the combo. And I think you'll see like 180 damage SPD punishes. So yeah. I think, I think, I think the, uh, the pressure game from Mike Webb will be definitely stifled by Dr. Richard Steele. Shoutouts to Geef Kind. That's like Mankind, except it's Geef Kid. Alrighty, Charlie starts out immediately with a forward dash, which I think is kind of what he wants to do. He needs to stay on offense and keep that oil up. There you yep. go, the offense erupts from full screen. Nice kick setup. You've seen it all day. Nice, yeah, he chooses to oil up, which I think is smart. Perfect activation there from Mike Webb. Yep, see, even the EX oil slide was not enough. Wow, what a read there. The oil rocket sucking up the standing Elena. Big damage. Huge pressure here in the corner. Nice block on the cross up. The extended hitbox that they uh, buffed in Ultra. Wow, it's just standing around house. Oh, nice. that's going to work. Uppercut. And, and now you see really second activation. activation. Oh, that's going to work. Oh, wow. Just do it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Good stuff there from Dr. Richard Steele. <laughs> Yo, and Dr. Rich Steele is calling Mike Webb out already. You see him pointing at us, pointing at himself, saying he's going to take it. He's just that confident already. Already, one round, Dr. Rich Steele's in there. And he is all wet, ready for business. Oh, it's wow. only minus one, right? What? Uh, that mile smash. The heavy mile smash, that last one. Yeah, so... Maybe that was his learning experience. Now he knows the SPD is not going to punish. Wow, but Whoops. that does punish. Don't drop your... He's <laughs> pulling a Geek Kid now. Arms above his head. <laughs> we Geek Kid now. <laughs> yeah, as he lands his Ultra. Bing. Oh, didn't kill. Close enough. Yeah, it doesn't kill because it was like minimal stuff. <laughs> there That's a ton of damage. That did a though. lot more damage than Ultra did. Wow, the, the crouch cancel not coming out from Mike Webb. This is crazy gameplay. Oh, it's going to be big damage. Nice He's going to get the activation. There. Yep. And does her jump back evade the air throw because she jumps so high? Probably. Nice. Oh, perfect. Unnatural safe punish. jump into the perfect oil rocket punish. And oh. Charlie is going to take game one. <laughs> he is clapping right now. He's he, clapping just like he was through the whole last set that he wait, played. Who did he play against uh, with that set? What happened to our grand final? I don't know. I don't remember. Tell me. Man, I feel bad for not remembering, but he beat somebody pretty good. Yeah, this always happens to me, to me when I uh, commentate for many hours. In the oh, oh, wow. That really good like setup. Smart stuff. Splat. Nerd. <laughs> What's that called? Hakan Spear? I don't like know. That? that was a good setup, though. Wow. Perfect Ooh. frame, perfect punish. Or frame, perfect setup dizzy there. Dizzy on the next touch? Yep. Dizzy. No. Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. No, she's dead. dead. Wow. What a round wow. from Dr. Richard Steele, MD. <laughs> he is showing his doctor degree Meme in doctor. spades. <laughs> He is he is double doctor, ladies and gentlemen. He is Doctor Richard Steele, MD. He you know the double doctor is is Charlie. Wow, Half Life on lane already. Half Life. What's next? Nope. Charlie looks like uh, he's dancing without moving. Do you know what I mean? Like if you just look at his face after he gets these six setups to work, 
It looks like he is dancing. Oh, nice back throw. Activation. Yeah, it sucks that you have to throw him wow. out of the corner. Okay, a little trade off there. She got a lot of health, but he got uh, wow. He yeah, got the grab. the oil on. See that air grab there from uh, Dr. Richard Steele. Of course, his offensive reads are what really sets him apart from a lot of these other players. Yeah, definitely. There he went for the the late air grab again. Oh, that's gonna be full activation again. Yep. Wow, this is a lot of health regained by. Oh, nerd! Charlie clapping. Yeah, Charlie's very excited. <laughs> Charlie's looking directly <laughs> at me. <laughs> He's and still I'm enjoying, yeah, I'm enjoying every, every bit of it. it. Yo, and then we have a uh, Geef Kid coaching Mike Webb. Uh, you know, trying to give him that extra information he needs to beat Charlie. Like, you know, whenever you're playing against Charlie, you have to be aware. I think Dan's sitting next to him, enjoying his PBR. Shit. Uh, Charlie doesn't want coaches. He doesn't want coaches to be a thing. But Dan is sitting next to him, so Geef Kid went and yeah, sat down next yeah. to Mike Webb. Even though Dan is sitting there doing nothing, but just he's just trolling. He's it's not Dan. gonna say it's, a word. It's Dan, dude. Dan like, they're literally probably talking about other things. Dan is just having fun, dude. That's all he does. His whole life. Okay, Mike Webb. Rufus, it is rare footage of Mike Webb actually using Rufus. But isn't uh. Rufus v. Indy Grappler, absolutely terrible. For Rufus? Yeah, because he can't uh, apply any be. pressure without getting wrecked by SPDs. Uh, I don't understand the ultra dupe pick, actually. I mean, in theory, it's a good idea because, you know, you're going to punish all the aerial moves that, that uh, <laughs> Rufus has. <laughs> that was a reversal oil rocket, too. That wasn't. That's just a setup. That's we'll set see up. if Mike Webb knows that he has to crouch underneath those. Uh, no punish. But Mike, Mike Oh, no, he misses combo. Yep. And so did Mike Webb. Wow. Did that hit him on the way up yep. of the jump? Yep. And that's dead. He's, he's very close. Not quite. <laughs> just, oil, just oil slide. Okay, and that looked like Stan Light Kick trading with uh, whatever jump. Jump Fierce. Oh, is that not Jump Fierce? Or Stan Fierce? Like on the, the overhead? Oh, I thought it was just a jab. Oh, you might, you might be right. It could have been either one. No, you're right. You're Regardless, right. Punish. Charlie here on match point. Wow, he's got the, Punish. Nice crouch there from Mike Webb. And big combo. Well, not a big combo, but good completion nonetheless. Wow, that's yeah. gonna hit. You Great gotta damage. use it. Now he's got full meter on a con almost. Wow, this is a reversal oil rock without oil. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, now we see setup from Charlie. There's a there's an SPD. Now we see life advantage here for Charlie. Wait the, the ultra two. Ultra oil two rocket. right there. Yep, that's why I picked it. It can't. Wow, not hit. Really? Even if you do nothing, it still hits. I think he bounces, doesn't he? Oh yeah. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe low. No, he bounces. He goes into the air for, I don't know. Yeah. Regardless, Charlie takes that one 3-0, and nobody is more excited about it than <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Charlie is just... Char Unfair coach. Neanderpuss. Oh, uh, Neanderpus. Charlie has a lot to say about the coaching right, situation. Yeah. All right, so losers semifinals coming up. It's gonna be Geef Ooh, Kid and Pickle Chicken. The rematch. TRB. The rematch from earlier. The run back. Wow, that that is crazy. We see Pickle Chicken versus Geef Kid. These two guys ran it earlier, and Pickle Chicken taking it in a very very close. 2-1 set. And this time, how's it going to end up? We have Fickle Chicken again from Wichita repping that E-Honda. Of course, the better matchup. No, no, no. It's me versus the machine. I got this. I will get my Where's the compliments? Great geek play, dude. Or great Lacan play, man. Charlie wants compliments, chat. Char oh, I got it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Charlie wants compliments, guys. Come on. All right, so the run back, will it be yep. D3 Mighty Ducks where the varsity loses in or wins in practice big time but then comes back and loses to the junior varsity yeah. when it counts at the end of the movie? Mm. Or will it be the collapse when they blew their 9 nothing lead <laughs> and ended with a tie game? What movie is this referencing? Uh, D3 Mighty Ducks. Oh, yeah. I, I there we see Dutch Pickle ones. Chicken, Child of Darkness. <laughs> Child of Darkness. I think he works at Holiday or Hampton then. He's the child of darkness. And then here is the angel, the light at the end of every tunnel. <laughs> Jonathan, Jonathan in, in Israel. Israel. <laughs> the light of every end of every tunnel is Jonathan Israel. Look you heard it here, folks. Is he looking directly into the camera? No, he's yeah. not. 
Next time we do that, we should make them look in the camera and do like a like a mean mug pose or you know like like they do when they introduce the football players. Yeah. I'm uh, Tony Gonzalez, University yeah. of Southern California. He's, just, yeah. He's like, I'm Geef Kid. I'm from St. Louis, <laughs> but uh, Kirksville. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And there's a misspelled pickle chicken. Of course, uh, it comes from RuneScape, where you only could add uh, like 13 or, or is it 14 or 15 character name? I don't know. Just count, right? Like it's right there. I don't know. Nah, five and 12. Yeah. So it's 12. Yeah. 12 it would be 13. Work. Had to cut it down to 12. Yep. That's what it looks like. Yep. All right. Nice whiff punish. Yep. On the, the human torpedo that is E Honda. No whiff punish on that standing medium kick. People are afraid of that move, but it's very slow. Yeah, absolutely. Very slow. Totally punishable. And the thing is about this matchup, you want to see, Geef Kid wants to do this. He wants to be in and stay in. But, but however, Pickle Chicken wants to stay far away from Geef as possible. That's his, that's, his, that's his goal. He wants to stay there where Geef is not a threat and just poke him with all of his great normals. And when I say great, I mean mediocre. And then He has some great normals. I would say Stan Roundhouse is a great normal. It's minus seven. You're minus seven, dude. Uh, it's, I, he, nobody's going to punish it from that Akuma range. Akuma is. Woo! <laughs> with his six-frame sweep. Evil Rear is going to do with a full combo with his low forward. Yeah. Rip Honda. All right. It's actually really good patience from both players. But sweet snipe with the sweet chin music from uh, Geef Kid. No punish. He could have done, uh, if he would have had a charge, I don't know if he would have or not, he could do ultra to punish that jump in from Geef Kid. That would have actually taken the round. That would have been pretty crazy. That would have taken the round. Does Honda have an air throw? I don't think so. No. Wow. That was crazy. That's punishable. Oh. Or not. And hey, roundhouse? I didn't see reversal, so it may have just been a missed punish. Oh, here okay. you go. Look for the tick. Nope, going for the bear grab this time. Going to put in the corner Set for the mix-up. Cross up. Oh, nice. Oh, didn't Ooh, go for nice the loops. I like that because he didn't go for the FTC that time, so yeah. now Geeks is like, oh, he didn't go for the FTC, so the now next time he can go for it. Nice. Wow. Keeping that meter. Get trying to build some meter now. Oh, that's and he's it. dead. Nah, he's not dead. The Geek kid is that? sounding off. Oh, he's not dead. So Geef's dead, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that wow. forever. Pickle Chicken is so stone cold Steve he's Austin dude, right now. Dude, he is stone cold. That was sweet. All right. What? You're minus seven, dude. <laughs> You're minus seven. Oh, nice. Counter poke on the, the chop, the Honda chop. Honda chop. There it is again, trading with that low jab. And this is kind of Pickle Chicken's game. This is how he won the last set. I like nice. it. Sumo slam. Oh, that's a great SPD. He's been doing that standing around house on Geese Makeup quite yeah. a bit. Five frames invincible. Nice combo there. Wow. Counter hit standing middle kick. And he goes for the... Into light SPD. So he's... This is going to be really, really hard for Ihana e to win. He needs to get a life advantage for Ihana e to win. But, however, he see him charging that ultra. Oh, uh, yeah. It looked like a... No punish, punish there. Yep. But he still has that ultra, so he actually has a chance of coming back. Okay. Does he have a safe jump off this, though? Yep. He actually... Uh, e Honda's a three-frame safe jump, believe it or not. What? Yep. Improbable. I know, right? Good stuff there. Nice combo from Geef Kid to <laughs> close out game one. Because that body splash hits from farther away than most DPs do on their first frame, so he can just do it, and then people's DPs just don't reach. Oh, uh, so it's unnatural, like they can walk out of it? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Balrog has one of those. Yeah, it's not like it's not like an actual three frames. Right. I mean, the, the well, that's why I say unnatural. Yeah, yeah. Because those okay. don't actually exist, to be fair. Cool. As, as you know, as you know. But yeah, Pickle Chick played that well. There's All right. So Geef Kid is backing out to the lobby because he knows they unlocked a, a color for Zangief, and he wants the blue Geef. Yeah, the blue, the blue panties. And he is really excited about it. I mean, if I if I didn't want him to do this, then I should have joined the tournament and beaten him, right? Yeah. So here we go. Here we go, this boys. Is, this is the the best iteration of top player privilege. Now let's see the blue panties. Nope. What? He didn't get it. He only got up to seven. Yep. I guess it's eight. Yep. No blue panties. I don't know. Sorry, bud. All right. So, Child of Darkness. But also, he cut, also he cut the momentum. And also, Versus Pickle Chicken played that really well. So, uh, actually, I think that's really smart for Geek Kid psychologically because Pickle Chicken played that really well. And if he would have done it again, I think he would have had a really high chance of winning this next match. Yeah, I think that's something that Geek Kid uh, uses in every set that he can is the psychological advantage of taking a pause break or something like that. Nice reaction there. 
Oh, no punish there. Oh my god, the whiff punish of a sentry headbutt against the low forward from Zangi. Wow, that, that trade. Kind of a bad trade. That was a good EX tip, I just get out of there. Oh. Nice punish. Not a full punish, though. Oh my god, oh, that, that was headbutt. That was medium headbutt, though. That was medium headbutt. That's it. And he's dead. No, he's, well, not, he's dead. not dead. A lot of damage, close, though. though. Yep. 10%? No, 5%. Wow, Rip. just walk up jab. Good stuff from Geef Kid, keeping the pressure on in the corner. Yep. And now we see two bars coming from Zangief and not just over a bar and a half from Pickle Chicken. So it's going to be hard for him to really to try to... He actually uh, got a piece of that jump in, which is surprising because uh, there's really no reason the Lariat shouldn't come out there. Oh, wow. no. That sucks. Yeah, you got to be more careful with those. You got to win those. <laughs> wow. Standing around house again. Those are hit low, even though they are a standing move. Oh, here we go, boys. Are you nice. going to get it? Oh, he the jumped. bait. Oh, that was trying to be ultra, most likely. Yeah, just stand fierce. Oh, oh, 750 That's stun. 750 yeah. stun. And wow. is that dizzy or how no. much went away? Okay. Probably, probably all that. But he's still dead regardless. He, right. he would have taken a lot more damage with the 2 0. Geef two zero. Oh, wait, that was it? I thought we were playing a 3. That was loser semis. Oh, no. Okay. Well, my fault. Loser semis. So, pickle chicken eliminated by Geef Kid. Yeah. Good stuff, too. Oh, that was ultra, to be fair. Fair. I tried, dude. I tried. I remembered afterwards. I'm sorry. I, dude, I'm, I don't commentate ever. No, you're usually you're supposed to be in these tournaments, winning them. Yeah. All right. So next up, we're gonna have Geef Kid versus who's left Mike on the other Webb. side? Oh, it's Mike. Mike okay. Mister. Mister. So this is kind of a run back too. They had a pretty good set last time they played at Max Out. Yep. Of course, the drop combos from Mike Webb were, I think, uh, were going to be the issue here. Because, I mean, drop combos from Elena are still punishable by SPD. How many home dogs do we have watching the stream? Uh, I wouldn't know. How many viewers do we have, uh, AJ? That's a very nice emote, pepperoni pizza. Rainbow Kappa. Kappa Pride, 60. Wow, we have 60 concurrent viewers right now. But, yeah, that is Kappa Pride. Thanks to all of you tuning in. And it's not to the stream. Mike Webb. Looks like they both Mike only Webb needed to check two buttons. Yeah, dude, he's in Celtic. Good versus the evil here. That aura of light. So this is our losers finals. Yep. And Geef Kid went back to the lobby again to try to get that blues and Geef. So we'll see if it worked out for him. It looks like he was unhappy, so I don't think it's going to. I don't think it worked. Green. All right. There he is. Jonathan Israel. The kid, the geef. He is geef kid. Abel. Abel. Is this real? All right. So I don't know if he intentionally went to pit stop 109. What? Oh, what? Yeah. Is Mike Webb able? Oh, the, the hard counter pick? Is that hard counter? Awesome. Yeah. His uh, light SPD is, or his light whirlwind beats SPD clean because it's throw invincible. All right, so let's see what Mike Webb's got here. Building yep. a little meter, falling sky straight off the bat. No cancel. That's nice. interesting. Okay. Oh. Looks like he wasn't hitting his whirlwind up there. And no anti. Oh, right there, right there. He did SPD and he just got wrecked for it. There you go. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that jab, that two-hit jab, people Terrible. don't really expect it. And uh, speaking of people not really expecting it, that's the second time Geef Kid has landed that today. Yeah. Nobody's like, I'm going to do bear grab. Oh, full nice. punish. One frame oh, lead. wow. Very nice punish. And, and a good air-to-air -air as well. Uh, I don't uh, think that was the juggle. Yeah, that, that was, was just the a reset. Point. No punish, uh, so it doesn't matter. Okay. We're all good. I'm a little confused. Mike Webb should be dead, but he's not. So this... Uh, Count this among a loss already for Geef Kid because he should. Wow, he just went in. Yeah, even if Geef Kid won that round, I mean, that's a bad sign that he didn't punish that ultra. Yeah. It's at least a, a hard punch SPD. Would have been so it seems like Geef Kid's a little unfamiliar damage. with this matchup for sure. Yeah. 
And uh, I think people like Snake Eyes do believe that this is pretty high, for the most part, in Abel's favor. Nice combo there from Mike Webb. He's really got the execution with this character. Yeah, always, I mean, he, I see like he's had better execution with uh, his Abel than he has his Elena. Yeah. Okay, no, look for the tick. Oh, oh, really wow. risky on that punish. I would have yeah. liked to just see neutral jump. What was that? Speaking of neutral jump. That would have been a good time to do one. <laughs> uh, he's going to eat like 400 damage there. Wasn't full stocked. Nice. Just the, the low. And the thing about Abel, though, is that he actually, in comparison to Lena, he has a lot of burst damage. So he could actually, yeah. if he would have landed that Ultra 1, Geef would have been pretty darn close to death. So that's something to keep in mind here, is that Abel does have a considerably more higher damage output than Elena. Right. Which nice is going to definitely favor against a character with such high health as Geef. Nice. Larry. I don't know if these are reads or reactions, but uh, Geef is really on point. And again, the bear grab. Again, the mix-up. What does he have for us? The head, yeah, head looking butt. Looking for the headbutt. Decent trade on the anti-air. Big combo. Misses oh. his reset. And, and he, then he doesn't punish on the way down. Yeah, that's the infamiliar with the character. Like game facts, as you're supposed to. That's <laughs> a lot of damage there. Yeah, able. Oh, pull okay, up. that was he, counter. And he did it too early. The room went wild. And it was the wrong... Yeah, he should have done... Uh, it makes it a lot easier if you still cancel the light kick uh, roll. It makes it a lot easier to time. Into ultra? Yeah, because it, it's an anti-air. If you do it the regular way, then, then you, you can't. Just you just do ultra. it wrong. But, but you still have to wait a little bit. Yeah, you have to wait a little bit. Not okay. as much anymore because he has that extent. Because he actually now has a... Imagine he has a huge wall above him that okay. travels with him. Like, he... Like, Carries this big giant shield that goes above his head. Like he's a train. He's a, yeah, and then so like if you even did too early, you actually drag him with you, which is pretty awesome. The French locomotive. Yeah, able. The, the train conductor. All right, decent punish on that. Yeah, you can't really let him do that all day. Wow. I think he wanted Geef Kid to keep doing that think he because he was that. winning the trades, but not by enough that I would give Geef all that free reign. Okay. Wow. Lariat, Lariat, Lariat. Lariat's kind of been the story of this game so far, huh? Oh, right, intentionally drops that combo to get the reset. Ultra. Okay, now this ultra late? should hit. Is that late? Nope. Right, that, that, it's that. not going to do as much damage because it was relatively well scaled. But it's going to do wow. some damage. Rip. Unfortunately, Abel also in the corner. Rip. And now he's dead. I think that was like bunch of SPD. Yeah. He, and he may have been looking to beat that exact move right there. Or, since Geef has been doing a lot of back dashes on Wake Up, he might be trying to do options like Step Kick. That also might be a Oh, yeah. Option. Good call. Oh, no. The EX. Grab whiffing. Nice to cancel. Look for the tick. Oh, oh he faked it. Oh, that was a yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it would have worked on most of us. That was beautiful, What actually. a setup. Oh, You oh. went for another one into the headbutt. No, no, Ultra. All right, so game two to Geef Kid, looking yep. commanding right here. Mike Webb just a little puzzled right now. Wonder if he's going to go back and uh, use that Elena. Also, I might add that Abel's uh, second hit of his Fierce only does 30 damage. That's weird. I'm just, I think it does 30 damage, I'm pretty sure. So Isn't just, it safe, though? Minus four. Oh, so it's Seth that's safe. Okay, I was getting confused. Seth is, is way uh, worse, though, because it starts up a lot slower. Right, okay. So, I mean, unless, you, unless you're doing, like, jump hard, because that's the reason why the jump hard kick is really nice, because you do, like, jump hard kick, then the crouch fierce as a frame trap, but now it's, like, jump eating kick, then you do the fierce, and they're, they're already, like, you know, hit, you know, doing a late tech before you even do right. the uh, crouching fierce. Let's go, mate. Alrighty, so Mighty. Mike goes back to Elena. And we'll see if he can run this one all the way back. All the way three back. Three games in a row. Charlie's really cheering for him, because Charlie already... Took him out 3-0, yep. I believe, in six straight rounds, yeah. right? Something so Charlie's probably there. feeling pretty good against uh, Mike Webb as far as his odds go. Well, I want to say for Mike Webb, it's some anti -ears. He's not used anti-ears practically at all this entire tournament, but he needs to be using standing medium punch. That beats almost all of Zangief's options, as well as saying uh, light punch. Either one does really well. Oh, the good bait. It's bait again. Wow, it's a terrible punish, so he should have done crouching medium punch, spin kicks, and the heavy BP in the corner, but... Set up into the empty jump low. Wow, just keep doing it. Geef Kid is all about the low shorts, and they pay dividends for him. They do. Chip, yeah. Wow. I don't think, I mean, what can you do besides use a meter there if you're Elena? So now, Geef Kid is on the verge of heading to another max out grand finals. And the loser side, which is definitely change. Wow, just keep doing it. Oh, then he got SPDs. That's really smart. What's the setup? 
Mike Webb looking at okay. the crowd in disgust. Man, I do think he's done a different setup after the running bear grab every single time. Nice activation. Got quite a bit of health back. Still definitely in this is Mike Webb, but it's looking really tough. Wow, Geek Kid with staying, those strong footsies. Same mini punch, just killing him. Wow. Wow, the meat hook to catch the back dash. Oh, we thought it would chip. Not quite. Now he gets a. Uh, and unlike right most characters, he doesn't get a free chip kill after this. Elena gets a little health back. Okay, oh, going for the big Full combo, punish. and he finally hits it. Nice. Oh, wow. And then he just gets hit with a Too little early. short. Too freaking early. Unfortunate. Good stuff to Mike Webb. Yeah. Strong play there from Geef Kid. Charlie now going to be playing uh, Mr. Mr. Jonathan Israel. So here, once again, Charlie returning to Grand Finals at a max out. Last time he played German Luger. Wow, yeah. And he used DJ and Hakan in that set. Oh, you wonder if he might use DJ against Zengif. Well, DJ. I don't know how Hakan does. I don't know much about the matchup at all. But we are certainly about to find out. Usually sees like the... Uh, Usually the uh, not, oh, I say traditional, the non-traditional grapplers usually do better against uh, traditional grapplers. So like for example, Khan and T Hawk do a little bit better against Geef and okay, you know. But I mean, I don't know. I'm not a grappler uh, specialist, so specialist. So I mean, your guess is good as mine. It really is. Well, let's see how it all plays out. This is of course Grand Finals. Charlie on winner's side just needs to take three games to take this, and then you see. A total of six games for Mr. Jonathan Israel to take the game or take the tournament. So both these guys, of course, the thing is they're both in the money. They're both making quite a bit of cash here tonight. But the but the question is, who's going to get 70% of the winner's pot, and who's going to get 20%? Will it be Jonathan Israel? Oh, that's kind of cool that it kind of. The Geef Kid. Kind of. Oh, that's cute. What's cute? Now you see Jeremy there on the uh, camera, Mr. Jeremy King. Yeah. There he is. There he is. A little flash of Jeremy Old King flash. behind Charlie. Little flash. Yeah. He's really excited. That is true. He, I mean, if, if Charlie wins out. this, that means uh, Casey would win for their first max out in a very long time. Ta -da. Look at that, man. We look swaggy. Do we? I think. Oh, you, 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 you look a lot swaggier than I do. So. Is that what you call this? How we look? I'm not a very attractive person. So. Come on, fire team. <sighs> what? You want to tell Let's you? Go. I'm, I'm the hottest. Look, person. when you're yeah, when you're back here with me, you're hot, dog. You're hot, dog. Do I actually? I'm really hot though. It's yeah, it was kind of hot in here earlier. I don't know. It's pretty nice now. Wow, right? look at all that. Doctor <laughs> Richard Steele, MD, MD winners bracket. Yeah. yeah. Versus Truman Gaming League. Oh, he got Geek rid of the kid. MD. He got rid of the MD. Oh, no. Who's next to Geek Kid? Geek kid? Uh, He's no longer a meme doctor. I don't know, dude. I don't know who's next to Geek Kid. All right. He seems to know him, though, so I assume that... The Truman guys seem like they're excited about something. What yep. is it? Oh, Geek, Geek Kid winning. Overpass. All right, red on red. The normal color one Hakan versus the normal color one Zangief. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. As God intended it. <laughs> As God intended it. Ooh, that forward meme punch into SPD. That's going to even out the life here. Oh, wow. Keep kid jumping away, and then hits and him just grabbing him again. Grabbing him again out of a jump. You can tell he's jumping out of the way. Not, not, or is, nice why did that not work? Is he not airborne? Well, you're completely invincible for eight frames. Oh, yeah. You're right. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. good read from Charlie. Doesn't really get paid off. He wow. the punish. No SPD. Or he should have done the ultra, excuse me. That's Ruh row. Nice jump back. Keith, oh. probably the only character in the game where you can jump back. Well, Dalsum and yeah, Dalsum can probably conventional do that. character that yeah. can do that. Yeah, you can jump back and punish with a normal. Yep. Only uh, only person I can think of is like uh, Cammy. Her jump around house is pretty solid. But now you see Zangief. Ooh, wow, that works. Anti air. You can, how many of it? It's got a ton of uh, invincibility frames. Oh, that's a ton of stun. Oh, and he still oils up. Very risky stuff. Going yeah. for the huge reset. That's a lot of damage all at once, actually. Oh, that's going to hit. That's going to hit. Yep. It's not going to kill, but it's going to do plenty of damage. That's going to give him the life lead for sure. Yeah, it was pretty well stocked. Here we go. Geek Kid. the life lead. Oh, nah. just back throw? Oil up? Yep. Okay. Good stuff. 
Oh. Oil up again. Double oil. A little mm. mouthy with it. He tried to dash <laughs> underneath. That's it. Oh, never mind. Oh, wrong health bar. The wrong health yeah. bar. Oh, that's side so fast. Yo, Geef Kid's been talking this entire time yeah. to Charlie. And I think Charlie's going to start talking a little bit too. Yeah. Hold that. I'll show you my moves. Yo, Charlie, looking at us now. Charlie, looking at us. Give us the nod. Give us the <laughs> nod again. Last time he did that, it was against Mike Webb, and then when he 3 0 him. Yeah. So, if that means I see another 3 0, I'm going to be pretty happy here for uh, Kansas City. Not to be biased or anything. Nice. Man, that backdash has been paying dividends here for Geef Kid, punishing Richard Steele for the third time. Oh, oh, okay. oh a little early. Missed little, timed it yep. just a little bit. That's not going to work. We'll leave that punish. That was a really great jump back, though, right? Like, I think I would have still been standing there. Especially since he just used a super. That looked like it was supposed to be a tick SPD. Oh, he just keeps, he just keeps, yeah. he just keeps oiling. He Max damage. Good. Okay. So, Geef Kid, one step of the way. Again, with his six total, then he needs to take this tournament. So strong showing there from him. I think if Charlie's going to stay in this, he needs to stay hyped like he was. Yep. The one round that he won, Geef Kid was smiling at the end of it like he thought it was funny. So Geef Kid's definitely not cracked. And I don't know why he would be. He should have quite a bit of confidence. He's won enough max outs yep. in his young life. Nice punish. Yeah, that was a beautiful punish. Dash forward into SPD. That's not going to work, and he's wow. going to grab him out of it. Wow. Not every day you see something like that. Geef right, Kid reversal sounding off. SPD, Geef Kid exclaiming, yay, it worked. Oh, wow. Oh, just too far for the low roundhouse. Oh, eat that air throw. Nerd. Charlie claps his hands as he takes the round with a jump air throw. Now we see three bars from Rakan. The issue is with Rakan, he doesn't have a good red focus combo, so you're not going to oh, see. we'll uh, see about that. He's got some, but they're not yeah. like Geef's where it's just, det you know, just detrimental to right. his game plan. And if somebody can use him, it's going to be Charlie. Oh, yeah, nice drive, and he still gets the juggle yeah, off of it. Yeah, the last hit of Larry. Oh, that's going to be stunned if he doesn't. Yeah, that's a dizzy right here. No? Oh! Wow, nice. and he landed the ultra. So does stun reset during this time? Yeah. Okay, so that dizzy bar is definitely going to be empty. Uh, unfortunately, so is the ultra gauge. So Charlie with a couple less tools to work with here. Okay, there's two bars used up. Nice. Oh, wow, that great punish. Perfect punish. And yeah, and stun depletes on your own ult, does not deplete on your own ult. So if Geef would have ultra Charlie, that would not have depleted the stun. However, since Charlie ultra nice. does. Yep, good good punish there. Oh, air to air. The nope. trade, and he doesn't go for the yeah. EX green hand. He basically had a sure chip kill afterward. But I guess he was so he was so confident in winning that he didn't want to use his bar. And that is a good, you know, that's a good decision now that it's worked out. Oh, my God. And Jonathan's still talking. Nice, neutral jump. Plenty of dizzy there. 200 more. Wow, nice. Okay, anti-air EX SPD. Chase down what looked like a backdash Man, there. these backdashes from Geef Kid are just... Tick. Okay, no. Going for the running, or the bear grab. Because he's in the corner already, so he might as well get the setup. Oh, perfect nice combo. Little normal combo there. And that's going to hit. It won't do a ton of damage to Geef. But, but he's a lot is, better off than yeah. he was five seconds ago. He's that's definitely sure. more in the match now than he has been. Oh, uh, good oil up. Yeah, just oil up again. Yeah, he's oiling up a couple times every time he gets the chance. Ooh, okay, now he, he definitely has a chance. Obviously, the back dash. Very he's done like five or six back dashes yeah. now. Well, see, that's the, a strength and a weakness of Charlie. He's so hard to train. All right, now now a couple people coming over to talk to Charlie. I think Luxon's going to meme right now. Uh-oh. All right, nice punish on the, uh, the green hand, even though it hit. Yeah, nice. Uh oh, that's gonna be big damage. Oh, the bait. Wow, the one more hit here. One more hit. One more hit. That's it. He's dizzy. A lot of meter there. Go for the bear grab setup. No, going for SPD. I'm not really too sure on that. Okay. Actually. A little bit of extra damage there. Yeah. See, now that he barely got a setup, he took damage for it. Now he's nice got to use punish there on the uh, slide. Minus. Why did that work? Oh, wow. Looked he's like out of range. Just barely out of range. Yeah, he should have done light punch SPD instead. That would have worked. Yeah, really good punish there from Geef Kid on the verge of resetting this bracket and sending Charlie to loser's bracket where he is. Some more oil. Another do double oil situation we and, got going and on. No here. punish from Geef Kid. He to get done EX Green Hand into full punish, but instead he chooses not to. I think if the oil had been causing more problems, Geef Kid would probably uh, 
start punishing the oil. But you know, since it is 2-0, he's obviously not having, he's not struggling with it too much. Jump back, light kick for the air to air. Yeah, again. Okay, now he's chasing it down a little bit. Kind of looks bloodthirsty, and it wow, looks like that it. EX SPD isn't ultra invincible, so that's not gonna kill. Charlie on the ropes here. There's a bunch of jump fierces. Yeah. Keep you destroying and show his power. That's not gonna work. The anti-air SPD didn't quite work. So the bracket is reset. Charlie's gonna go to losers with Geef Kid. So now they're both in losers right now. And that was a race to three for the money. And now Geef Kid is completely uh, void of any emotion in terms of uh, you know being. He he's just totally fine with everything right now. Like you know he's he's been popping off this entire time. Yeah, I'm sure he's absolutely comfortable. He's used to being disliked here by this crowd. He's used to being in grand finals at max out. He may not be used to playing Charlie, but. He's, he found his weakness and he's exploited it constantly. And now George again going for the coach. <laughs> TGL Country Croc Geef Kid. Rip. Is Country Croc like an all night it's diner? A, it's a butter company. Oh. Oh. They make they make mar oh. they make margarine spray. Very, very nice. Very nice pepperoni pizza. TGL Country Croc Geef Kid. That's pretty cute. Not gonna lie. I, I give it a 7 out of 10. And Jemima. 7 out of 10 might meme again. Might All right, meme Charlie again. slaps the table, shaking his own monitor and the world. <laughs> He's like, what the hell do I do? This grand, momentous red man. Wow. Geef Kid announcing yeah. his green hand as he does it. Wow. I, I think he's uh, role-playing as Geef. Yeah, I agree. Instead, ex uh, instead of saying <laughs> Banishing Flat, he says Geef. Does he actually say Banishing Flat? I don't think so. I don't know, he might. Nice Good. punish. Yep, full punish there. So he'll probably get another stock of that. Uh, knowing yeah. Charlie, he's probably going to focus something along the way. He's going to pair like 18 things, yeah. so I mean, you're definitely going to see that. One oil, two oil. No, there's a yeah, punish. Yeah, he punish that time. Let's that wow. rip. Sweet chin music straight into SBD for a One ton of damage. Sweet chin music. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know about that. It's wrestling before your time. Yeah, well. wow. Nice. Just keep mashing normals. It is Geef Kid. And it worked out. I mean, you saw focus parries coming. Geef Kid still popping off this entire time. Oh my god. Ooh, full full combo. Oh, goes for the X oil instead. Yeah, okay, X oil. And he oh. baits the SPD and then misses on the way down. He had to do a like lot later. Jump roundhouse was a little early. Yep. Geef Kid's reads on point right yeah, now. Yeah, he's just destroying Charlie right now. Eating an EX meter. Tick. Oh, he didn't go for Ultra. I don't know why. He's not going to kill. He didn't have Ultra. What are you talking about? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, this guy has Ultra, and that guy is resting in peace now. Game one <laughs> to Geef Kid. Wow, this is this is a blow up so far. Yeah, that's four straight. Ab. Oh, here we go. Good anti air yeah, forward good. roundhouse. Oh no! Nice. Okay. Out of the air. Probably Ooh. had a juggle point to use, but he backdashed. Nice air throw. Yeah, it's really hard to get out of the corner against Geef with that huge lariat hitting on both sides of him. And that's going to reset all the stun that Geefy just got with that uh, headbutt. So now we're going to see a life advantage from Dr. Richard Steele as well as a stun reset. That's going to be pretty big. That's not safe at all. That's like minus seven or something. Yeah, he jumped that. No, he didn't. Wow, that's dead. That's full Another stock. Another round taken back to Siberia. Wow, this is this is crazy. It's looking pretty rough for Charlie so far. We'll see if he can do something. He has a, he kind of put a stop to the oil slides. Did Geef Kid uh, with so many back dashes and punching with SPD? Yeah, they've been stopping the oil rockets, namely. Nice you know, air to air. Yeah, and the setups. Oh yeah, the oil rocket. Yeah, the, the yeah. seem like the setups from Charlie have been nullified almost completely by that exactly wow. that the back dash. On Zangief's wake up, perfect air throw. That's gonna hit. One thing Zangief is without in this matchup is the uh, air throw. To substitute his big threat out of the air is the jump, uh, the headbutt fears. Yeah, the the uh, is it up hard punch? Uh, yeah. All right, so he get he gets hit with the ultra here. It's pretty well stocked. This may kill. That's steering kill for sure. And a couple people Ding. are clapping. Are you sure? No. I don't. Geef Kid telling Geef us Kid he can still yeah. win. Geef Kid announcing to the room, all right, I can still win. Believe in yourself, Geef Kid, to the very end. 
He oils up. Zangief with full meter uses it wow. all. He, Geef Kid telling him that he is a scary Geef Kid. He is he is scary. That's what is uh, announced by Geef Kid himself. I think this is uh, where Geef Kid gets into his comfort zone. Is when he gets becomes the villain. Yeah. He's like the more Axiom. He's like the like you take Axiom. He's like the more pure Axiom. Like the all villain. <laughs> the just all villain. I don't know. Missed the forward fierce. Not even Axiom would talk during his matches. <laughs> like that. Nice whiff punish. Ooh. Oh, air to air with the jump light kick again. And was that a punish? EX Green here? Charlie getting roughed up here so far in the set. Yeah, there's a good SPD there from Geef Kid. Now I see staying meeting kick. Wow, whiff punish from that forward roundhouse back dash again. Another again, back dash he's gotten hit probably by probably nine back dash and SPDs. All right, one more round, and Geef Kid could once again be the max out champion. Taking that 70% of the prize pool. Ooh. Wow, just doing jump new down hard punch yeah. over and over again. Absolute disrespect. He announced that red focus. And he is he is making noises along with Geef. Yeah, sounds, he like <laughs> sounds like a gorilla. It sounds like a gorilla. Nice backdash again with the SPD. Uh, this is this, this is a blow could up. be it right here. Oh, whiffed red focus. This is a blow up. Oh, that's gonna hit. Yeah, that's like minus nine or All something. Right, so Charlie's still in it. Probably a million thoughts going through his head Geef right kid, now. Geef kid definitely singing right now. So Geef kid mash ultra. Mashing ultra. He, he really did, did it. it. Wow, and he and, and he won. With with punish, that, with stand medium he punch. he just simply villainized everybody. Everybody is dead silent and staring at their phones. This is kind of how it always ends here. And now Geef Kid celebrating. Yeah, because Casey can't. We can't win our own tournaments. Yeah, he, he is he is rotating. He is rotating in with his arms out. Alrighty. Yeah. So congratulations to Geef Kid. Thanks for you guys who tuned in. Um, I'm gonna get an interview with Geef Kid here in a second. Sure. I uh, is there anything you wanted to say before? Shout out to Max out. Shout out to Max out. All right. Shout out to Brett though, dude. Seriously, he does so much for us, and I'm always glad to you know see him help us out. But yeah, shout out to Brett for sure. All right. Well, uh, thank you for covering Mixed. in the absence of cups. It, I had a good time commentating with you, Mr. Wyman. Nice to Until see you. Next time. Will you grab see him you, for me? See you tomorrow, dude. Yeah. I'll tomorrow. No. I I can't I'll talk about it later. I can't go.